Good morning. Um, my name is Andy Lott. I am the Nevada Arts Council Board Treasurer and also panel chair for today's grant panel review. And I call this meeting to order at 10 o'clock exactly on Wednesday, August 30th, 2023. Welcome everyone to the Nevada Arts Council Fiscal Year 2024 Arts Fellowship Grant in Literary Art, po Arts Poetry Category Panel Review. This public meeting is being recorded. Please remember to identify yourself each time that you speak and to speak loudly and clearly so that your comments will be clearly recorded and so that the audience members can hear you. At this time, will the Nevada Arts Council staff confirm that this meeting was properly posted? This meeting was properly posted. This is Sapir Chuk. Thank you, this is Andy Lott. We begin our Nevada Arts Council meeting by acknowledging the NUMA and the Niwi and the Nuwuvi, Wasisu and the Pipa Aha Makav have lived in the Great Basin since time began. Please join me in expressing our deepest respect and gratitude to our five major indigenous groups, the Northern Paiute, the Shoshone, the Southern Paiute, the Washoe, and the Mojave. Not just the original caretakers of the land that we now call Nevada, but for their enduring, enduring stewardship and protection of our shared lands and our waterways. Today, Nevada Arts Council reaffirms its commitment to improve the quality of life for our 28 tribal nations, bands, colonies, and the 62,000 plus urban Indians who choose to make Nevada their current home. Thank you to those joining us today on this virtual meeting. Your attendance shows your commitment to Nevada's arts industry and on behalf of the staff and the board of the Nevada Arts Council, I commend and thank you for all that you do. At this time, we'll proceed to agenda item A2, the roll call and introductions. I will now introduce our panelists. Brent Amaniero uh, is the author of the chapbook Puebla and the collection A Face Out of Clay. His poetry has been published or is forthcoming in Alaska Quarterly Review, the Iowa Review, Ninth Letter, the journal uh, Azares Hispanic. Organic Culture Review and elsewhere. He is the 2022-2023 Letras Latinas Poetry Coalition Fellow and the University of Notre at the University of Notre Dame. He currently serves as the poetry editor editor at the Los Angeles Review. Welcome. Ashanti Anderson is a Black queer disabled poet and writer. Ashanti is the is the author of Black Under, which won the spring 2020 Black River Chatbook Competition at Black Lawrence Press. A 2023 NEA Fellow, Ashanti's poems have been have also appeared in Poetry Magazine, World Literature Today, and elsewhere. Ashanti's other published and produced works include essays, stage plays, screenplays, and tabletop role-playing games. Learn more at ashanticreates.com. Makalani Bandele, Say it for me, Makalani, so I say it right. You had it right, Bandele. Bandele, perfect. <laughs> um, <clears throat> graduate, uh, graduated of the University of Notre Dame with a BA in the program of liberal studies, Shaw University with a Master's of Divinity in Biblical Studies, and the University of Kentucky with an MFA in Creative Writing. An Afro-Latian poet and Cave Canham graduate fellow, he has also been awarded fellowships from the National Endowment of the Arts, Kentucky Arts Council, Malay Colony of the Arts, and Vermont Studio Center. A multidisciplinary teaching artist and writer, Makalani has done readings, writing workshops, and classes at universities and conference across the United States for over 10 years. The list of literary journals where his poems have been published is wide ranging and extensive. Sylvester's, Prairie Schooner, Washington Square Review, African Review, and North American Review are a tip of the iceberg. His work has been published in several anthologies, Cave Canem Anthology 13, Red Holler, Contemporary Appalachian Literature, and Mid-South Sonnets, to name a few. Makalani is the author of Hell Fighting Under the Aegis of a Wing Man, awarded the 2019 Autumn House Press Poetry Prize. And uh, uh, Eponymous as Funk, which won Future Poems 2020. 22 Other Futures Award and will be published in October 24. Thank you all three for joining us today. Um, it is so great to have people uh, from all across the country join us as we do these panel reviews and your insights are gonna be wonderful. I, I already know it. At this time, uh, we'll have the Nevada Arts Council staff and the Deputy Attorney General 
go ahead and introduce themselves. Hello, this is Sapira Truck, Artist Service Specialist. I am in the Las Vegas office. I am Stephen Reed. I am Artist Service Specialist, um, and I am in the Carson City office. Good morning, I'm Stephanie Montgomery of Grants and Project, Project Analyst in the Carson City office. Good morning, I'm Krista Ficken from the Grants Program, joining you remotely today. Good morning, this is Harry Ward, Deputy Attorney General, and I'm here just for the open meeting law. Um, you've been reminded to uh, identify yourself before you speak, and for a couple of reasons. Sometimes through a public records request, they will answer for a transcript or a copy of the audio. And that's why we ask when you do respond, just remember, and you don't have to say your first name, uh, who you are and when you are responding. And I'm here if there are any questions regarding the open meeting law. Thank you. Thank you, Harry. This is Tony Manfredi. I'm the executive director for the Nevada Arts Council, uh, joining you today from Carson City. Thank you all for being here. Um, it is lovely to see our faces, even if they are in little boxes. We will now move, uh, this is Andy. Uh, we will now move to agenda item B, public comment. A period of public comment will be allowed at the beginning and at the end of the meeting. Members of the public who wish to participate during a public meeting may do so by providing public comment during the two designated public comment periods. Members of the public attending may not speak except during the public comment section. Public comments may also be submitted via email to grants at nevadaculture.org. Again, that's grants at nevadaculture.org. Because of time considerations, the period for public comment by each speaker may be limited to three minutes at the discretion of the chair, and speakers are urged to avoid repetition of comments made by previous speakers. Applicants who are attending today do not have an unfair advantage over those who are not in attendance. And the committee will not take public comment regarding any grant applications under consideration. Is there anyone joining today's meeting who wishes to provide public comment? Uh, this is Tony, for the record. Um, there are no attendees who have raised their hand to provide public comment. This is Andy and Tony. Has there been any emails received regarding public comment? This is Stephanie. There have been no emails received for public comment. This is Andy. We will now move to agenda item C for possible action, review of the FY24 Artist Fellowship Grant in Literary Arts, Poetry Category Applications. The Nevada Arts Council will award a total of five artist fellowship fellowships of $5,000 to the top scores of this year's two division, Literary Arts and Performing Arts. Today's application for poetry fall into the Literary Arts category. During the meeting today, the panel will discuss and score 21 applications the goal of the panel is to score the applications to make and make recommendations to the Nevada Arts Council Board. Applications are scored on the following review criteria. Clear demonstration of the artist's intent and process for 10 points. Consistency in the exceptional caliber of the work for 10 points. And evidence of artistic impact such as influence within a specific community or genre of art, 10 points. The Artist Fellowship Grant recognizes individual artists living in Nevada who demonstrate excellence in their work. By acknowledging outstanding artistic accomplishments, the program promotes public awareness and appreciation of the role of the arts in our society. In odd fiscal years, the grant is open to visual artists, and in even fiscal years, it is open to performing literary artists. All applications received were reviewed by staff for eligibility, for eligibility only, and then moved to the panel review process. Prior to previewing the applications, the panelists completed the Nevada Arts Council panelist orientation and training. Then each panelist reviewed the application and reviewed the application and supplemental materials online and submitted preliminary scores and comments for all applications. We have, we have assembled an outstanding panel of experts in the field of literary arts today, and we encourage the panelists to share their knowledge about aesthetic, stylistic, or cultural trends that may affect other panel members' understanding of the application being discussed. We also urge panelists to speak out strongly in support of applications that you believe should be considered by your fellow panel members. As a reminder, panel members are not permitted to enhance any application by offering their personal knowledge of an applicant. No information beyond the application itself may be discussed. Staff members only provide clarification and or assistance 
assist panelists in locating information and in accordance with the Nevada open meeting law, panelists may not discuss any applications outside of this public meeting. So please make sure that no discussion regarding applications occur during breaks, lunch, or after the meeting adjourns for the day. All panelists previously received information regarding conflicts of interest. If a panelist stands to profit in some way from the awarding of a grant to any of the applicants, the panelists must refrain from participating in the discussion and scoring of that application. Conflicts of interest forms were given to the panelists previously and have been signed and turned in to the Nevada Arts Council staff. Panelists, when I call on you, please state your name for the record and announce if you have any conflicts of interest. We'll start with Brent. This is Brent. I have no conflicts of interest. Ashanti. This is Ashanti. I have no conflicts of interest. Makalani. This is Makalani. I have no conflicts of interest. This is Andy. Our panel review has up to three rounds. In round one, I will state the application number and ask each panelist to state their name, round one score, and their initial comments for that application. If there is a large discrepancy in scores between panelists on a certain application, the staff may ask panelists to clarify their scores through discussion. Panelists will have the opportunity to adjust their scores at this time. If a panelist changes a score, they must take, they must state the justification for the change. The Nevada Arts Council staff will record the average panel scores for each applicant and determine which applications move on to the next round based upon average score. All right, so we're gonna start and jump right in. Um, I am gonna introduce um, the application with the number and then we'll go through and I'll ask you each to, to state those things. Um, you will start with your name um, and, then, and then provide the score. Um, cool, I just wanna make sure I'm on target. We're starting with 15 Sapira, is that what you said? This is Sapira trick? Yes, that's correct. Perfect. All righty, so we'll begin with AFG 240015, that's 15, and uh, we will start with Brent. This is Brent. My preliminary score for 15 is uh, 17. Uh, my notes are consistent themes and images of nature, the cosmos, love and heartbreak, dirt and the earth. And I was looking for uh, evidence of artistic impact, such as influence within a specific community. Thank you. Ashanti? This is Ashanti. My total score was 13. Um, are we breaking these down, like, by individual uh, category? Um, this is Stefan Reed for the record. Ashanti, no, you can just go ahead and and, and before you uh, speak, uh, make sure you introduce yourself. Um, yeah, it's total overall score. Okay, perfect. Um, yeah, so this is Ashanti. Overall score was 13 um, comments. Uh, I thought it was very consistent in using nature as a focal point. Um, in some cases, however, a lack of clarity kept me from fully appreciating uh, the poem. Um, and some felt as though uh, they may have stuck their landing. Um, yeah, that's it. And we'll move to Makalani. Oh, okay, this is Makalani Bandele scoring. Um, uh, zero, zero, 0015. Uh, I gave it a, a, a overall score of a 22. Um, basically, uh, as has been uh, stated by the other panelists, um, I, I basically listed these as brief, casually adorned vignettes on a variety of subjects, mostly dealing with nature. Um, I found a pretty even balance between lyric and narrative in the poems. Uh, however, to really uh, to get right to the quick of it, uh, I would have to be considered exceptional and to 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 score like the highest scores that I gave. Uh, uh, I would think that uh, 
the poems would uh, exhibit a greater facility of contemporary uh, poetic moves uh, and, and a more refined syntax. I found that the syntax in these poems was often um, not, not really um, uh, advanced. This is Andy, thank you for those. Do we, sorry, I'm reading the script as we go, but I think, do we score these, Sapira? Sorry, I just need a little help out and then it'll be smooth after this first one. This is Stephanie jumping in here. Um, just at this point, um, Andy, if you could just ask if there are any comments for further discussion and then I will confirm scores and I'll explain a little bit more at that time for our okay. panelists. The first one's always bumpy for me, but then this is Andy again. Sorry, the first one's always bumpy, but once I get the hang of it, we'll 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 move and groove. Um, cool. So, panelists, if there's any further discussion or any comments that you would like to add um, at this time, this is your option to do so. Just remember to say your first name uh, before you start speaking, or like say, "Hey, it's me again." All right. Hearing no additional comments, then we will. Move to scoring. This is Stephanie confirming round one scores for AFG 24-0015. And just to clarify this first um, time, as it is at this point that if you wanted to change your preliminary score, you could. Um, so I will go ahead and share my screen um, and show the scoring sheet. Um, and if you did change your score, you would just need to provide a justification. Okay, can everyone see my screen? Great. Okay, so round one scores for AFG 24-0015. Um, I will call on you each individually. Um, let's start with Brent, your round one score, please. Uh, this is Brent, I'm sorry, what am I, I'm saying if I change the score or? This is Stephanie. Just confirm your your score. If it remains the same, then you can state oh. your your score. If you wanted to change it, you could state the new score and then just provide a justification. Okay, this is Brent. Seventeen. Thank, Thank you. you, Brent. Ashanti, your round one score, please. This is Ashanti. Thirteen. Thank you, Makalani. Twenty two. Twenty two. Thank you. Round round my Makalani round score. Uh, my my round one score is twenty two. Thank you. Round one scores for AFG 24-0015 are Brent, 17, Ashanti, 13, Makalani, 22, for an average score of 17.3. Hi, this is Stefan for the record. Um, I just want to just jump in and maybe clarify what we're talking about uh, changing scores. Um, so obviously you're going to listen to each other's preliminary comments here at the very beginning in round one. And if there's something within the dialogue or the comments that you're hearing from other panelists that might kind of elicit um, something that you might not have thought of when you're scoring. So we're giving you the opportunity to dialogue in that kind of uh, framework and possibly change your scores if, if you're so inclined to do so. Um, we're not uh, encouraging you to change anything if you're um, if you're comfortable with your score, but depending on what's happening in the dialogue and the preliminary conversation, you have the ability to change your score if you'd like. And for the record, Harry Ward, Deputy Attorney General. And guys, the reason why that you now do this, because this has to be done in an open meeting law setting. Uh, obviously, you were able to get the information, the applications and do them individually without consulting with the others. But other panel members, but now's your opportunity to discuss each one of them and then also to justify, oh, I didn't think about that. Yes, I'm going to change it up or down, et cetera, et cetera. But that has to be done in an open meeting law setting. And that's why I'm here. Thank you. I tend to the floor. This is Andy. That sounded so fancy. I don't know what you, that meant. You tend to the floor. I feel so cool and powerful. Um, <laughs> Perfect, we're gonna move along to the next um, application and uh, that will be AFG 24-0019-19. And uh, we'll do the same thing. We'll go through, um, state the, the score name uh, and score. Um, so 0019, we'll start this time with Ashanti. This is Ashanti, my preliminary score was 22. 
um, comments are that these are poems celebrating the natural, celebrating natural beauty and resilience. Several of the poems geographically center the Southwest. Line breaks to no pauses while reading, but on the page, many of those lines don't stand out on their own. I do, however, appreciate the use of a sort of layering technique as a creative imagistic device. Thank you, Makalani. Um, this is Makalani scoring AFG 240019. Um, my, uh, my total preliminary score was um, an eight. Um, the, the, the poet's passion, the poems is palpable. Um, their performance is engaging. Um, but I felt like, um, in the crafting of the poems, um, the caliber didn't, the caliber of the poems wasn't raised to excellent, whether you consider them within the spoken word, um, tradition or the literary tradition, um, uh, personal and heartfelt, um, one wants to root for these poems, but there is little in the way of metaphor vivid imagery or specific detail that would gain a high estimation, in my opinion. Thank you. And then Brent? This is Brent uh, for AFG 24-0019. My preliminary total score is 21. Notes are spoken word poet with good cadence some strong moments, but also many cliches and moments that become too didactic. Awesome, so this is Andy. And at this time, um, we open the floor for any discussion or additional comments based on what we shared here. Um, and then thinking about changing the score and then we'll move into the final round. And hearing nobody with additional comments, we will um, start the, the first round of final scores for application AFG 24-0019. This is Stephanie, we're confirming round one scores for AFG 24-0019. Uh, Makalani, your round one score, please. Makalani, you're muted. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> Makalani, this is Makalani. My round one score for AFG 24-0019 was an eight. Thank you. Brent, your round one score, please. This is Brent. Uh, my score is 21. Thank you. And Ashanti, your round one score, please. This is Ashanti. My score was 22. Thank you. Round one scores for AFG 24-0019 are Brent 21, Ashanti 22, Makalani 8 for an average score of 17.0. This is Andy for the record, and we are going to move along to our next applicant, AFG 24-0021. Again, AFG 24-0021. Uh, we'll do the same thing, starting with Makalani this round. Makalani, we can't hear you. Sorry, this mute thing, I might have to just leave it unmuted. Um, uh, but anyway, so my this is Makalani. My score for uh, AFG 24-0021 uh, um, was a 15. Um, there are some clarion moments in most of these poems, moments where the poet strikes on a poignant insight or nails the human condition with precise description. Then there are misses and misfires. Um, ultimately, the work didn't distinguish itself enough nor introduce enough inventive language 
to earn a top score. Thank you, Brent. This is Brent. Uh, score for AFG 24-0021, preliminary score of 21. Uh, some interesting moments, but ultimately fell flat at the end of most poems. Uh, to give some uh, specific example, the simile, quote, like I had seen the Iranian women do in the dusty streets, end quote, felt voyeuristic and inappropriate. Thank you, and then Ashanti. This is Stephanie, I apologize for interrupting. Brent, um, we had a six for your preliminary score for 0021. This is Brent, uh, my mistake, that was an error on copying over to that uh, document that um, you wanted us to use. So uh, yes, correction, that was a six. My comment, I believe is still the same for that one though. This is Stephanie, thank you so much, Brett. We'll move to Ashanti for scores for zero, zero, two, one. This is Ashanti, my score uh, for this one is a 13. Uh, comments are that it reads to me as uh, sentimental and self-indulgent. Uh, I don't think every line needs or deserves to be its own stanza and that form slows down the poem. Um, while the circumstances described uh, in the poems are significant to the reader, uh, usually um, the poem lands on what the speaker wants or gets out of it. Uh, and I think the angle of these poems could be slightly adjusted to reveal and pay off more to the reader. This is Andy, thank you all for that. Now we will move into uh, further discussion or additional comments that you would like to share. Hearing none, we will begin the round one scoring process. This is Stephanie confirming round one scores for AFG 24-0021. Ashanti, your round one score, please. This is Ashanti, I scored a 13. Thank you. Makalani, your round one score, please. Uh, this is Makalani, I scored a 0021, a 15. Thank you. Brent, your round one score, please. This is Brent. Uh, my score was a six. Thank you. Round one scores for AFG 24-0021 are Brent, six, Ashanti, 13, Makalani, 15, for an average score of 11.3. This is Andy. Thank you. Moving on to application AFG 24-0022. Again, AFG 24-0022. We will begin with scores, starting with Brent. This is Brent. Um, score for AFG 24-0022, preliminary score of 18. Notes, strong writing, consistent nature imagery, looking for influence on specific community. Thank you, Ashanti. This is Ashanti. I gave a score of 20. My comments are that uh, I suggest different line breaks for uh, waking to an ocean. Uh, the nest is excellent imagistically. I'm not always sure what is happening in these poems. Um, some lines suggest that the speaker is in a surrealist or fantastical world. Uh, if that's not the case, the metaphor may be laid on too thick for us to grasp the speaker's reality. If we are, in fact, in a different world, uh, the reader needs to be sure of that. And Makalani? Um, my, my scores for... Um, for uh, AFG 24 0022 
is a 22. Um, let's see. The poems in this portfolio are well crafted. They show great sensitivity and connection to the natural world. Um, I think the poems are strongest when they are concise and trust more in emotion being conveyed than meaning or information as lyric poems rather than narrative conciseness generally speaking should be preferred mode of delivery i would have scored higher if there would have been um more if the lyric would have they would have leaned more into the lyric and conciseness Thank you. This is Andy. At this time, we'll open the floor for further discussion or any additional comments. Hearing none, we'll move into round one scoring process. This is Stephanie confirming round one scores for AFG 24-0022. Brent, your round one score, please. This is Brent, round one score, 18. Thank you. Ashanti, your round one score, please. This is Ashanti, my score is a 20. Thank you. Makalani, your round one score, please. My round one score is a 22. Thank you. Round one scores for AFG 24-0022R, Brent, 18, Ashanti, 20, Makalani, 22, for an average score, of 20.0. This is Andy. We will move on to AFG 24-0024. Again, AFG 24-0024. This time we will begin with Ashanti. This is Ashanti. I gave this one a 26. My comments are that this collection is preoccupied with death of persons and places and as a concept and state of being. We shift from passive, passive speculation uh, into an active state of grief slash mourning, um, which is just a compliment to, I think, the ordering of this particular submission. With the exception of some sizing and spacing issues, um, if intentional, um, it didn't land for me. Uh, in Cenotaph in particular, I found um, the form of each poem, with the exception of that one, to be complementary to the essence of the poem, uh, though I do suggest playing with enjambment and line breaks for maximum effect. I'm not sure about specific community impact, but uh, grief is a national, if not global, conversation, especially in a uh, mid-pandemic world. Makalani? Okay, so my uh, my scores for AFG 240024 uh, was a 22. Um, the language... Uh, the language, employment of poetic devices, and the syntax in these poems show a high degree of craftsmanship. Um, um, I appreciated the surprise and peculiarity in the way poetic lines were often phrased. Um, this portfolio stands out, but it is not um, the most brilliant or remarkable of the bunch. The portfolio earns high scores but not the highest. Thank you, and then Brent. This is Brent, uh, scoring AFG 24-0024, preliminary score of 25. My notes are consistent themes of mortality, well-written. I was looking for the influence within a specific community. Uh, although I didn't add these in my notes, I'd like to comment that um, I do appreciate Ashanti's uh, point of saying that grief is a kind of uh, global component that I could see that being um, categorized as part of a community. And so I, you know, I, I think that's important to, to distinguish. And that was a, a good uh, note to have in this discussion. Thank you. This is Andy. At this time, we'll just open the floor. Any additional comments? Um or additions you'd like to make at this point. Huh? 
Awesome. We'll move into the next step. This is Stephanie confirming round one scores for AFG 24-0024. Makalani, your round one score, please. This is Makalani. My uh, round one score for 0024 was uh, 22. Yep. Brent, your round one score, please. This is Brent. My round one score was 25. Thank you. Ashanti, your round one score, please. This is Ashanti. My score was 26. Thank you. Round one scores for AFG 24-0024 are Brent, 25, Ashanti, 26, Makalani, 22, for an average score of 24.3. This is Andy moving on to the next application, AFG 24-0025. Again, AFG 24-0025. We'll start this round with Makalani. Um, this is Makalani. Um, my first round score for AFG 24-0025 is a 28. Um, the craft in these poems is excellent of the highest among the submissions I've reviewed. There are quite a few moments of exceedingly fresh metaphor. I was captivated by the poet's images of nature and was drawn into the writer's inner world. The writer has a gift of talking about familiar things in inventive ways and making unfamiliar things accessible and relatable. I also appreciated the weight of the subject in these poems. Thank you, Brent. This is Brent scoring AFG 24-0025 preliminary score of 30. My notes are strong themes of migration, immigration, borders and separation, belonging slash not belonging. Excellent verse written with a clear purpose. And then Ashanti. This is Ashanti. Uh, I gave this one a score of a 12. Um, comments are that some images are uh, lovely and fresh, for example, ambient news, purple and sun, um, but some felt unimaginative and cliche, uh, for example, foreboding sky and microscopic detail. Um, I also thought that the uh, community uh, impact and interaction could be uh, more accentuated. This is Andy. At this time, we'll open the floor for additional comments um, or discussion. Hearing none, we'll move into preliminary scores. This is Stephanie confirming round one scores for AFG 24-0025. Ashanti, your run one score, please. This is Ashanti, and my score is 12. Yeah. Makalani, your round one score, please. Uh, this is Makalani. My round one score was a 28. Yeah. Brent, your round one score, please. This is Brent. My round one score is 30. Thank you. Round one scores for AFG 24-0025 are Brent, 30. Ashanti, 12. Makalani, 28 for an average score of 23.3. This is Andy, just wanna do a little like timekeeper check here. We're gonna kind of move through the next couple ones and around 11.10ish, um, we'll take a break. Does that sound good with everyone? I'm seeing thumbs up and head nods. So um, moving on to AFG 24-0030. Again, AFG 24-0030, preliminary scores starting with Brent. Hi, this is Brent, uh, scoring AFG 24-0030, preliminary score of 17. My notes are, everyday language makes poems feel contemporary and fresh. Some very exciting moments, full of surprise, strong writing. Lost points in the evidence of artistic impact, such as influence within a specific community or genre of art category. Thank you, Ashanti. 
This is Ashanti. I gave a score of 13. Uh, comments are that uh, these poems are mostly in service to the magnificence of the natural world. Uh, the selflessness and sparing use of the eye is favorable and consistent with this subject matter. However, the poems are not particularly revelatory. Um, I am also not sure that So Tough should all be one poem. Uh, and the flow of images sometimes obstructs uh, clarity. Thank you, Makalani. Uh, yes, uh, this is Makalani. My preliminary scores for AFG 24-0030 is a 17. Uh, I found this portfolio uh, difficult to judge while there were two or three poems that uh, are intriguing formally, for the most part, the language in most of the poems is not stunning or arresting. Poems are well written and show some skill in poetic craft, but the poems lack epiphany, novel ideas, or new insights for the reader. Um, I feel like nothing in many of the poems tells me something that I don't know or shows me a world in a shows me the world in a way that I've never seen it or thought about it before. Thank you. At this time, opening the floor for comments. All right, hearing none, we'll pass it off for staff to begin round one scoring process. This is Stephanie confirming round one scores for AFG 24-0030. Brent, your round one score, please. This is Brent, my round one score is 17. Thank you. Ashanti, your round one score, please. This is Ashanti, my score is 13. Thank you. Makalani, your round one score, please. This is Makalani, my round one score for 0030 is 17. Thank you. Round one scores for AFG 24-0030 are Brent, 17, Ashanti, 13, Makalani, 17, for an average score of 15.7. This is Andy. Thank you for that. Moving on to AFG 24-0035. Again, AFG 24-0035. Beginning this round, Ashanti. Alrighty, this is Ashanti. I gave this one a uh, 20. Um, comments are uh, Poder de Oso is a piece I thoroughly enjoy reading and acting out. Though the story and flow need to be tightened up a bit towards the end, uh, these are powerful affirmative poems rooted in culture both historically and today. Uh, they are also a bit heavy handed and it sometimes feels like uh, the words were chosen primarily for sonic value or desired form, uh, which causes glitches in the imagery. Thank you. Moving on to Makalani. Uh, this is Makalani. My first round score for AFG 24-0035 um, was a three. Um, the language is rather flat and comes across more as rhetoric than poetry. Few, if any, images in the poems, so the language does not engage the emotions of the reader much. The work does a great deal of telling and explaining and very little drawing the reader into the moment, situation, or experience, making it difficult to connect with what the poet is talking about. And then moving on to Brent. This is Brent for AFG 24-0035, preliminary score of 22. My notes are clear artist's intent, strong and clear influence within a specific community. Although there are many strong moments, the writing is inconsistent and underdeveloped, including moments where rhyme and repetition are overused, edits are needed, and restraint is needed. Thank you. Opening the floor for any discussion or additional comments. This is Andy, hearing none, we'll move on to first round scores. 
This is Stephanie confirming round one scores for AFG 24-0035. Makalani, your round one score, please. Uh, my round one score for 0035 is a three. Thank you. Brent, your round one score, please. This is Brent. My score is uh, 22. Ashanti, your round one score, please. This is Ashanti. My score is 20. Thank you. Round one scores for AFG 24-0035 are Brent 22, Ashanti 20, Makalani 3, for an average score of 15.0. This is Andy. We'll move along to AFG 24-0046. Again, AFG 24-0046. This round, we will lead the way with Makalani. Okay, um, this is Makalani, my preliminary, my, my first round score for AFG 24-0046 was a 20, um, uh, a fine portfolio, mostly of narrative poems. The skill and craftsmanship of the, of the poet cannot be denied, while not the most exquisitely crafted poems I came across in these submissions, definitely top tier. For me, I was a I was left a little uninspired by the subject of the poems and the lack of novelty in the language and the syntax and lack of surprise in the direction of the narratives, the, the direction the narratives take. Lastly, had there been more striking or intriguing epiphany by way of reflection on the narrative, it would have made it would have uh, more than made up for the lack of surprise or novelty. Thank you. We'll move to Brent. This is Brent for AFG 24-0046, preliminary score of 12, strong use of imagery throughout, little or no evidence of artistic impact within a specific community or genre of art, some strong writing, but could use some editing, but overall is missing a larger unifying purpose. And then Ashanti. This is Ashanti. I gave a score of 17. Comments are a disciplined craft combined with acuity of thought and clarity of image, movement, and placement within each poem. Um, however, in deliberate practice, the last two stanzas could be uh, reworked. Um, the current, uh, I think the organic ending is up a little bit earlier. Uh, similarly, a calling of Hawks feels disjointed and in charm bracelet. The fifth stanza seems to be uh, on the nose and redundant to the seventh. Opening the floor for any comments or additional discussion. Hearing none, we'll pass it over. This is Stephanie confirming round one scores for AFG 24-0046. Ashanti, your round one score, please. This is Ashanti, and my score is 17. Thank you. Makalani, your round one score, please. This is Makalani. My round one score for 0046 is a 20. Yep. Brent, your round one score, please. This is Brent. My round one score is 12. Thank you. Round one scores for AFG 24-0046 are... Brent 12, Ashanti 17, Makalani 20, for an average score of 16.3. Thank you, Stephanie. This is Andy, and we are going to move right along to AFG 24-0048. Again, AFG 24-0048. Starting this round with Brent. This is Brent uh, speaking on AFG 24-0048, preliminary score of 22. My notes are consistency in themes of grief and family, strong writing, well-constructed verse. This poet knows how to construct a poem. There's movement, surprise, and subtlety with strong openings and graceful endings. Looking for evidence of community influence, larger impact beyond the personal. Thank you, Ashanti. This is Ashanti. I gave this one a score of 18. Comments are uh, subjects of grief and adoration overlaid with images of nature as an outsider. 
This feels representative of the Southwest allure and beauty. Occasionally uses words that are so on the nose, they feel hyperbolic or cliche. For example, slavery uh, and grief. Um, this was a well-organized submission. Thank you, Makalani. Uh, this is Makalani, um, and this is my first round scores for AFG 24-0048. Um, thoroughly enjoyed these poems in this packet. They are full of adept description and often relay engaging reflections of experiences and moments. I was especially engaged when subject of when the subject of the poem centered around mental health neurodivergence and trauma related to such issues. Um, one thing I did miss from these poems was an element of surprise in the syntax and language of the poems. I'd hoped to see more lyrical flourish and strikingly unexpected phrasing. Thank you. Opening the floor now for further discussion or additional comments. Hearing none, curtain up on Stephanie. This is Stephanie confirming round one scores for AFG 24-0048. Uh, Brent, your round one score, please. This is Brent, my round one score is 22. Ashanti, your round one score, please. This is Ashanti, my score is 18. Thank you. Makalani, your round one score, please. Makalani, my round one score for 0048 is 23. Thank you. Round one scores for AFG 24-0048 are Brent 22, Ashanti 18, Makalani 23, for an average score of 21.0. This is Andy moving over to AFG 24-0052. Again, AFG 24-0052, starting this round with Ashanti. All right, this is Ashanti. Uh, I gave this one a, a 27. Comments are emotionally captivating, tender, and vulnerable. This work rejects apathy and cherishes the blessings of loving and feeling. If intended for visual publication, consider single spacing and playing around with line breaks. Um, Atronach feels incomplete. The present conclusion is a given. Uh, sidestep the obvious and reveal the poem's true intent. I felt that these uh, poems were obviously meant to be shared with others uh, with an affinity towards uh, queer affirming and marginalized folks. Makalani? Uh, yes, um, this is Makalani. Um, this is my first round score for AFG. 24-0052, uh, 14. Um, the work in this packet is provocative, but not evocative, by which I mean the subject matter of many of the poems is timely and sociopolitically relevant, but not addressed in the most artful ways. Um, let's see. The message is powerful in these poems, but because it is delivered with little imagery and short on imaginative metaphors, the language skews towards rhetoric. And then lastly, Brent. This is Brent for AFG 24-0052, preliminary score of 15, my notes. Uh, evidence of artistic impact, such as influence within a specific genre of art for spoken word. Expletives and other contemporary language create a unified tone, but it is weakened when juxtaposed with perfect rhymes and archaic language. Thank you. Opening the floor now for further discussion or additional comments. Hearing none, we will. Pass the baton. This is Stephanie confirming round one scores for AFG 24-0052. Makalani, your round one score, please. Uh, my round one score for 0052. This is Makalani. My, my, my 
my first round score for 0052 is 14. Brent, your round one score, please. This is Brent. My round one score is 15. Thank you. Ashanti, your round one score, please. This is Ashanti. My score is 27. Thank you. Round one scores for AFG 24-0052 are Brent, 15, Ashanti, 27, Makalani, 14, for an average score of 18.7. This is Andy. We're going to keep moving forward with AFG 24-0060. Again, AFG 24-0060. Uh, this round will begin with Makalani. Um, this is Makalani. My score for AFG 24-0060 was a 1. Um, let's see... One finds more rhetoric and cliche statements in these poems than poetry as it relates to craft and employment of poetic devices. While there is something to be said for the directness and frankness in the poems, the clarity, inventiveness, and exceptionality of the insight is lacking in these poems. While expressive, the poems do not end up expressing very much. Thank you. Brent, you'll be next. This is Brent for AFG 24-0060, preliminary score of 10. My notes, uh, points for evidence of artistic impact such as influence within a specific community for BIPOC and LGBTQ advocacy. Uh, however, poems are straightforward. No voltas, surprises, mystery, or magic. And Ashanti. This is Ashanti. Uh, I gave this one a 12. Comments are transparent and matter of fact, which makes the poems utilitarian, but also causes them to be read as rather plain. Uh, I suggest providing more showing and telling. Uh, for example, in Freedom, there's a good framework, but can we be shown images for when housing is affordable, for example? What does this look like? Also consider revising line breaks of most poems. I believe these poems do seek to impact the community, but need a little more depth and detail to be really resonant. Sorry, did all three of you go? I just checked out. This is Andy, sorry. Okay, sorry, <laughs> getting to that point. Um, opening the floor for further discussion or any comments. Okie dokie, hearing none. Take it away. This is Stephanie confirming round one scores for AFG 24-0060. Ashanti, your round one score, please. This is Ashanti. My score is a 12. Thank you. Makalani, your round one score, please. This is Makalani. My round one score for 0060 is a one. Thank you. Brent, your round one score, please. This is Brent. My round one score is 10. Thank you. Round one scores for AFG 24-0060 are Brent, 10, Ashanti, 12, Makalani, 1, for an average score of 7.7. .7. This is Andy for the record. I just want to take a pause and check in with everybody. It's 11 o'clock and we have, um, we're about a little over halfway through um, the, the first round. So do we feel like we need a 10 minute break? Do we want to go through the next couple and see where we are in another few minutes? And staff, if you have different guidance and want to show your face and tell me, um, we, can, <laughs> we can do that too. Um, does anybody need a does this appear for a 10 minute break? Just a 10 minute bio break. If not, then we can keep going. I'd appreciate one. Yeah. Okay. All right. This is Andy for the record. It is 1059 on my clock. So we will be back here at 1110. Um, and that is Las Vegas time or West Coast time. So um, uh, see you back here at 1110 and we'll resume uh, at that time. Thank you all. Everyone, don't forget to mute your uh, mic because it's still recording. So just go ahead and mute.
this is, uh, did I unmute? Yes, okay. This is Andy Lott for the record, calling everybody back from our 10 minute break. It is 11.10. Um, we are moving through, we're about halfway through um, and we are gonna pick back up um, with our round one preliminary scores for um, AFG 24-0062. Again, AFG 24-0062. This round will start with Brent. This is Brent uh, for AFG 24-0062, preliminary score of three. My notes are two poems address themes of nature and humanity's place in the universe. Other poems address love. Verse lacks depth, mostly consists of non-poetic statements. Thank you, moving on to Ashanti. This is Ashanti. Um, I scored this one a, a six. Uh, when using comments are when using uh, or to double up on a metaphor, grammatical correctness is being sacrificed, which causes lines to be unparalleled and slightly incoherent. Intent often seems muddled by insufficient or overpromising titles, using grammar to discern the logic at the end of until she becomes spills off. I think uh, that poem in particular is still finding its footing syntactically. Thank you, and Makalani. This is um, Makalani um, giving my uh, first round scores for AFG 24. Dash zero zero six two. Um, the long eco poem, Anomaly or Not, has some merit. There are a few high points that show skill and metaphor and imagery. Um, then there are the other poems in the collection that rhyme without meter um, or attention, um, that in rhyme without meter or any attention to traditional forms. Um, so uh, evidence of artistic impact, such as influence within a specific community or genre of the art, that area, if all of the poems would have uh, had reflected some ecological sensibility, then um, I could have given a higher score in that. Thank you. At this time, we'll open the floor to any additional comments. Um or discussion on AFG 24-0062. This is Chris, if I can chime in real quick. Uh, Makalani, will you state your score, please? We didn't um, catch that. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, this is Makalani. Um, I'm my first round score for AFG 24-0062 was a 10. Thank you so much. This is Andy and I'll open the floor again for questions or discussion. Hearing none, we will move to scores. So Stephanie confirming round one scores for AFG 24-0062. Brent, your round one score, please. This is Brent, my round one score is three. Thank you. <clears throat> Ashanti, your round one score, please. This is Ashanti, my score is six. Thank you. Makalani, your round one score, please. Uh, this is Makalani. My round one score was a 10. Thank you. Round one scores for AFG 24-0062 are Brent, 3, Ashanti, 6, Makalani, 10, for an average score of 6.3. Thank you, Stephanie. This is Andy. Um, I see some red bubbles popping up in the chat. Just to remind everyone, public comment is at the beginning beginning at the end of the meeting. Um, and so we'll announce those at, when we get to those agenda items. Um, moving on to AFG 24-0063. Again, AFG 24-0063. This round will start with Ashanti. All right, this is Ashanti. I gave this one a four. 
um, comments are the poem title she continually refers back to Malcolm, which uh, feels contradictory. Some poems can be revised for brevity, pruning all but the most potent lines. Uh, on the other hand, if this stream of consciousness effect is desired, uh, every line needs to have impact. Thank you. Uh, Makalani? Uh, yes, um, this is my first round scores for AFG 24-0063. Uh, my score is a five. Um, Let's see, uh, the poet's work uh, does not exhibit the conciseness and precision evident in well-crafted poems. Uh, my emotions were infrequently engaged by the poems. Thank you, and Brent? This is Brent for AFG 24-0063, preliminary score of zero. My comments, archaic language, like, quote, fare thee well, end quote, and, quote, only she herself hath made, end quote, cliches like, quote, you sting me like a bee, end quote, moments that are too didactic, like, quote, ignorance is unjustified, end quote. Thank you. Opening the floor for discussion or additional comments. So, Stephanie, I apologize. Ashanti, did you share your score, your preliminary score? Uh, yes, this is Ashanti. Uh, I gave it a score of four. Thank you so much. This is Andy opening the floor for additional comments and discussion. Hearing none, let's pull up that spreadsheet. <laughs> This is Stephanie confirming round one scores for AFG 24-0063. Makalani, your round one score, please. Uh, this is Makalani. My round one score for 0063 was five. Brent, your round one score, please. This is Brent. My round one score is zero. Thank you. Ashanti, your round one score, please. This is Ashanti. My score is four. Thank you. Round one scores for AFG 24-0063 are Brent, zero, Ashanti, four, Makalani, five, for an average score of 3.0. This is Andy moving to AFG 24-0069. Again, AFG 24-0069. We will start this round with Makalani. Okay. This is Makalani um, sharing my first round scores for AFG 24-0069. Um, nine is the score. Uh, while this poet is doing some interesting things with concrete poetry and the videos of them reading certain poems is refreshing and helpful to understand how the poem should be read. Still, I find a uh, lack of craftsmanship in, in the poems. And when personification and other metaphors are employed, it is done so rather clumsily. Thank you. We'll move to Brent. This is Brent for AFG 24-0069 preliminary score of 15. My notes, compelling musicality and tone in the poem, corrosive silence. Writing it as a concrete poem works well in this instance. The poem Assimilation is less compelling, lacks depth. The poem I tried feels archaic with the excessive rhyme and words like, quote, bestowed upon, end quote. The poem Beautiful Again feels like it needs an epigraph saying that it's after Maggie Smith's You Could Make This Place Beautiful. Overall, credit for consistency in using concrete poetry as a form. The poem, Corrosive Silence, feels like the most complete poem. The others become more didactic than poetic. And Ashanti. This is Ashanti. I scored this one a 18. Comments are uh, that the titles uh, feel redundant and could be retitled, retitled to provide more detailed context or surprise. Uh, 
there seems to be an overuse of commas, disrupting flow and grammatically presupposing a particular way of reading the poem that doesn't really pay off, uh, particularly in corrosive silence and uh, weird heavy. Um, but there's this sonic quality and uh, I found the poems uh, to be visually precise. This is Andy, thank you all. We'll move to open floor for uh, conversation and additional comments. Hearing none, Stephanie. This is Stephanie confirming round one scores for AFG 24-0069. Ashanti, your round one score, please. This is Ashanti, my score is 18. Thank you. Makalani, your round one score, please. This is Makalani. My round one score for 0069 was a nine. Brent, your round one score, please. This is Brent. My round one score is 15. Thank you. Round one scores for AFG 24-0069 are Brent, 15. Ashanti, 18. Makalani, nine. For an average score of 14.0. This is Andy moving to AFG 24-0071. Again, AFG 24-0071. We will begin this round with Brent. This is Brent for AFG 24-0071 with a preliminary score of zero. My comments, writing feels archaic. Syntax and diction doesn't feel current and the perfect end stopped rhymes also create an archaic tone. Thank you, Ashanti. This is Ashanti. Um, I scored this one a five. Uh, comments are that I don't think every line needs to end in a comma. Um, the language is simplistic, which is not a detriment in itself, but more imaginativeness can, trans can transform uh, predictable and cliche images and sentiments. Uh, the rhyme schemes also read as flat. I want to see more and be told less. And Makalani. Yes, this is Makalani. Um, my first round scores for AFG 24-0071. Um, is a four is, the is my score. You can tell there is a confidence and exuberance of expression uh, in the writer of these poems, but there are many mixed, uh, incongruent and weak metaphors and poorly constructed similes. Um, much of the uh, imagery fails to enlist the senses. Thank you, opening the floor for discussion or additional comments. Hearing none, we'll move to round one scores. This is Stephanie confirming round one scores for AFG 24-0071. Brent, your round one score, please. This is Brent, my round one score is zero. Thank you. Ashanti, your round one score, please. This is Ashanti, my score is five. Thank you. Makalani, your round one score, please. Uh, yes, this is uh, Makalani. My round one score for 0071 is a four. Thank you. Round one scores for AFG 24-0071 are Brent, zero. Ashanti, five. Makalani, four. For an average score of 3.0. This is Andy moving to AFG 24-0073. Again, AFG 24-0073. Starting off with Ashanti. All righty, I gave this one a, just checking, 73. Uh, this is Ashanti. I scored this one a 17. Comments are uh, connectedness to nature, uh, leaning towards imagism, which could be leaned into more. Uh, this will pull from some poems what feels like an arbitrary, unearned, or unclear ending. Uh, these are good poems, uh, but to me lack emotional intensity, uh, besides perhaps contentedness. 
Thank you, Makalani. Yes, this is uh, Makalani. My uh, scores for round one um, for uh, AFG 240073. Um, my score is a 19. Um, uh, sweet little images poems about the Mojave Desert. Um, uh, I have reserved my highest scores for work that speaks to socio-political, cultural, aesthetic discourses in the contemporary world, as well as exhibit an excellence uh, of craft. So while I scored it high, I didn't get highest scores. Thank you, and Brent. This is Brent for AFG 24-0073, preliminary score of 12. My notes, consistent nature imagery, although there are many tender, endearing moments, there are also a lot of cliches. Thank you. Opening the floor for discussion or additional comments. Hearing none, we'll move into the final scores for round one. This is Stephanie confirming round one scores for AFG 24-0073. Makalani, your round one score, please. Um, my round one score for 0073 is 19. This is Makalani. Thank you. Brent, your round one score, please. This is Brent. My round one score is 12. Thank you. Ashanti, your round one score, please. This is Ashanti. My score is 17. Round one scores for AFG 24-0073 are Brent, 12, Ashanti, 17, Makalani, 19, for an average score of 16.0. This is Andy, moving to AFG 24-0074, AFG 24-0074. Starting this round will be Makalani. Oh, yes, this is Makalani's. Uh, giving my first round score for AFG 24-0074. Um, my score is a three. Um, the visual art was interesting. Um, let's see. The poems were technically unsophisticated. There was little, if any, imagery which might engage a reader's sensibility or impact one emotionally. Thank you, and we'll move to Brent. This is Brent for AFG 24-0074, preliminary score of 15. My notes, consistent themes of love and spirituality, interesting visual accompaniment slash mixed media format. Strength of writing is inconsistent. And Ashanti. This is Ashanti. Um, I gave a score of 17 comments are a very clear and consistent message of agape love to the point of perhaps being redundant. We lose the sonic quality in later poems in this uh, collection. However, mantras about unconditional love feel simplistic and though revolutionary in practice, do not express any particular talent, innovation, or subversion of craft or creative insight. I love to see this poet explore this concept in more depth and specificity. Thank you. Opening the floor for any additional comments or further discussion. Hearing none, moving to the tally of the scores. This is Stephanie confirming round one scores for AFG 24-0074. Ashanti, your round one score, please. This is Ashanti and my score is 17. Thank you. Makalani, your round one score, please. This is Makalani and my round one score for 0074 was three. Thank you. Brent, your round one score, please. This is Brent, my round one score is 15. Thank you. Round one scores for AFG 24-0074 are Brent, 15, Ashanti, 17, Makalani, 3, for an average score of 11.7. This is Andy moving to AFG 
AFG 24-0075. Again, AFG 24-0075. This round, we will start with Brent. This is Brent for AFG 24-0075, preliminary score of 17. My notes, consistent themes of family and home. Points for influence within a specific community for themes of Black activism, specifically in the poem, Juneteenth, 2021. Overall, the poems needed more editing. Thank you. Ashanti? This is Ashanti. Uh, I scored a 13 comments. A uh, poem sometimes feels like uh, streams of consciousness, many center the speaker's feelings in a way that does not feel conducive to connection via readership, except to bear witness. Possesses a straightforward and metaphoric minimalism that will really shine if the poems turn inward, using the speaker's experience to uncover truths. Gratitude and grief poem currently feels underutilized and can be reimagined in terms of form. Thank you, Makalani. This is Makalani. Um, my first round scores for AFG 24-0075-17. Um, um, the diction and syntax in the work did not exhibit the variety and complexity required to hold fast my attention. This is important work and space needs to be needs to be held for it, but its perspicuity would benefit greatly from deeper insight and wisdom, as well as a wider application of metaphor. Thank you all. Moving to additional comments or discussion. Hearing none, we will move to the calculation of the numbers. This is Stephanie confirming round one scores for AFG 24-0075. Brent, your round one scores, please. This is Brent, round one score of 17. Thank you. Ashanti, your round one scores, please. This is Ashanti, my score is 13. Thank you. Makalani, your round one score, please. Uh, this is Makalani, my round one score of 17. Thank you. Round one scores for AFG 24-0075 are Brent, 17. Ashanti, 13, Malak, Makalani, excuse me, 17, at, for an average score of 15.7. This is Andy moving to AFG 24-0078. Again, AFG 24-0078. This round, we will start with Ashanti. Alrighty, this is Ashanti. I gave this one a five. Um, the endings often feel unearned, for example, in a water sign. Lines in the poem uh, are non-specific, leaving the reader to conjure their own images. Overused phrases, for example, hide and seek, and abstractions such as love can be rendered into unique images. Thank you, Makalani. Uh, yes, this is Makalani. My first round score for... AFG 24-0078 is a three. Uh, um, no, most of the poems lack poetic craft elements that would deeply impact a broad range of readers. Thank you, and then Brent. This is Brent for AFG 24-0078, preliminary score of 15. My notes. Some consistency in themes and images, including ocean and tide, nature, planets, and the moon. The poem's skin and definition were not as strong and did not seem to connect with the other poems in this packet. Thank you. Opening the floor for additional comments or discussion. Hearing none. Final scores for round one. This is Stephanie confirming round one scores for AFG 24-0078. Makalani, your round one score, please. Uh, my round one score uh, is a three. My, this is Makalani, my round one score is a three. Thank you. Um, Brett, your round one score, please. 
Uh, this is Brent. My round one score is 15. Ashanti, your round one score, please. This is Ashanti. My score is five. Thank you. Round one scores for AFG 24-0078 are Brent, 15. Ashanti, five. Makalani, three. For an average score of 7.7. .7. This is Andy moving to AFG 24-0088. Again, AFG 24-0088. This one will start with Makalani. Uh, yes, this is Makalani. Um, my first round score for AFG 24-0088 is a three. Uh, uh, the diction is, uh, is is uninspired. A paucity of imagery is accompanied by a lack of specificity and detail. Um, I also encountered few metaphors or other literary devices creating work that felt more ordinary than poetic. Thank you. Brent? This is Brent for AFG 24-0088, preliminary score of five. My notes, uh, eco-poetics contributed to points in influence within a specific community. Poems are didactic, feel more like rants than language art. The cartoonish graphics and fonts were distracting and did not help the writing. Thank you, and Ashanti. This is Ashanti. I gave this one a score of three comments. Uh, feels preachy are uh, didactic, a listing off of aphorisms rather than unique realizations. Uh, to me, the intent and audience uh, isn't really clear. Uh, the typeface alterations didn't seem to contribute to the effectiveness of the poems and often felt redundant to the word that the emphasis was being placed on. Thank you. Opening the floor for additional comments or discussion. Hearing none, we'll move to the final scores for round one. This is Stephanie confirming round one scores for AFG 24-0088. Ashanti, your round one score, please. This is Ashanti and my score is three. Makalani, your round one score, please. This is Makalani, my round one score is a three. Thank you. Brent, your round one score, please. This is Brent, my round one score is five. Round one scores for AFG 24-0088 are Brent, five, Ashanti, three, Makalani, three, average for an average score of 3.7. This is Andy. Um, that concludes all of the applications in round one. Um, I'm just gonna say three things that are off script. Um, two things, I mean, one, I am, uh, I think you get an award from Deputy Attorney General because you have all said your name for the most part through <laughs> the, this whole process. And oftentimes uh, people forget to do that. So a big thank you and a round of applause for that. Um, and two, I have never um, chaired a literary panel before. And so um, the, the intensity and thoughtfulness in the comments is, um, is just, I mean, normally the comments are great, but I just feel like I'm hearing words. I'm like, do I need to look this word up? And so it's just um, inspiring and and uh, exciting to be here to hear all of your um, your thoughts as we move through. At this time, since we've gone through round, round one, um, we're supposed to take a 15 minute break, but we're also kind of up against lunch. So I'm gonna pose 45 minutes for lunch and break, or do we just wanna take the 30? Um, I'm looking maybe to Sapira or someone from the staff to advise me there. Um, so this is Sapira. Uh, what we'll be doing um, as a team, we will be reviewing the scores and um, the comments. And then we're actually going to move, we're going to suggest um, moving a specific part of the higher ranking application to round two. So when we come back, um, the panelists can review the scores and where we made the cut. And if you as a panelist feel a specific application is really worthy and you want to have more discussion, if they're being, if they're not being included in round two, we can, we can discuss that. So um, I think 
45 minutes is a little long, um, okay. but I think 30 minutes would be good um, for the staff. But um, Stephanie, Stefan, Krista, do you want to weigh in? Hi, this is Stefan for the record. Yeah, 30 minutes. Um, I don't know if, um, so I don't know if there was a lunch planned in this, but um, I mean, we could make this all at once instead of breaking again in round two for lunch, or if we can probably get through it. I'm not exactly sure. If you want to make this 45 minutes, we could do the cut, have lunch, come back, and then just finish off. How, how does the panel feel? I don't know how the panel feels about that, because probably round two will, will not go as long as long as round one here. So um i mean if you want to break right now for lunch and grab something to eat and come back we'll we'll finish up in round two and um take care of business that way this everybody is okay Brent? Uh, um, yeah this is brent i'm I'm flexible uh, i had a big breakfast so <laughs> yeah makalani do you have a is... um i'm not sure if I, i'm not sure if i'm clear on the what we're saying like do 30 minute break now and then 15 minutes later or do 45 minutes now i am confused on what exactly yeah okay okay yeah i mean we'll so we're we're, we're gonna have to look at the applications make uh decisions on what's going to move to round two so we can kind of build a lunch into that as well right and just say 45 minutes or um or move forward and possibly take a break during round two um i don't think we'll probably need it it'll go quicker um but if it's it's just adding 15 minutes to give you a little time to eat if you'd like to do that. This is Tony. I'm jumping in here and Stephens. I suggest we just do the 45 minute break. Let's do a 45 minute break. We'll review it. We'll get the cut ready, have lunch, and then we'll reconvene after that. So does that sound good to everybody? Sound good? Okay. This is Andy. I'm going to, I'm going to say it is 1142 here in Las Vegas. So at 1230, we will all come back. That'll give time for the staff to calculate scores. And then for anybody that needs to use the restroom, grab a bite to eat, um, a snack, feed their dog, whatever they got to do, you've got 45 minutes, actually 43 minutes to do that. That's Does that perfect. Sound good? Thanks, Andy. Any objections? That's Tony. Thanks. All in favor? Oh, no, you don't get to vote. Just kidding. Yeah, <laughs> this okay. is Andy. We'll see you all back here at 1230 Pacific time. Thank you.
Hello, everybody, and welcome back. This is Andy Lott, and the time is now 1230. Um, and we will begin again. Sorry for any confusion that I may have stirred up before we went on that break. There were two things that were kind of simultaneously happening, a lunch break and then um, a 15 minute break that would allow the Arts Council staff to determine the applications that would move forward to round two. Um, so thank you all for taking the time to allow us to do those things. Um, and at this time, with, with the blessing of the staff, we're gonna move into round two. Are we good? Cool, I saw some head nods and, and yeses. So uh, in round two, we will allow more time for discussion. I will state the application number and then the panelists will discuss the application. After the discussion, the Nevada Arts Council staff will ask each panelist to state their name and their round two score for that application. Once the scores have been tabulated, we'll put the score sheet on the screen for panelists to review. If there is a large discrepancy in the scores between panelists on a certain application, the staff may ask panelists to clarify their scores through the discussion. Panelists will have the opportunity to adjust their scores at this time. If a panelist changes a score, please state the adjusted score and the justification for the change. The Nevada Arts Council staff will determine if we move on to a third and final round after this round two based on um, those scores. This is Stephanie. Um, I'm going to share my screen now, just a slight modification to what you said there, Andy. Um, I'm gonna share my screen now um, with a list of all of the applications that we have reviewed, sorted by average score from highest to lowest. And the Nevada Arts Council staff has made a recommendation for, based on those scores, for which application should move forward into round two. But we uh, invite the panelists uh, to take a look and um, address, voice any concerns they may have about that. Um, the applications that we recommend for the cutoff um, that would not be moving to round two are grayed out. So let me go ahead and show my screen. Can everyone see my screen there? Okay, please let me know. I have adjusted the Zoom so that we can see all of the applications on one screen, but please let me know if it's too small, if you need me to Zoom in, and I would invite any of my colleagues to um, share any other details about this process, any clarifications. This is the Pierre Cherk. Um, panelists, if you could review the applications that are grayed out, if there are any applications that you feel like you're really passionate about and you feel like it's worthy to be moved up to round two, um, now it's this time to open that up for discussion. If not, you can just let us know that this is good we, and then we can proceed to round two. This is Stephanie. I saw a thumbs up from Brent, perhaps for moving forward. Maybe we could just invite um, Ashanti and Makalani to, to voice their support of this or, or invite any further discussion of this cutoff. I'm good. I'm good with it. I'm good. I'm good with going ahead. This is Makalani. I'm good with going ahead. This is Ashanti. I am as well. This is Sapira. Thank you, panelists. I just want to mention that as we move to round two, um, we do need the scores to be clearly ranked for our top five um, applications so we can um, propose that to for for those applicants to receive the fellowship. There's a total of five fellowship for the literary arts. So depending on um, the number of application between the prose, dramatic writing, and poetry category. Um, we're probably looking at around two to three applications. So our top five average scores um, cannot have, um, um, oh my, I'm blanking, the same score. It cannot, it, we have to have a clear rank in the top five.
This is Stephanie. I'll just clarify if there are no other questions or concerns and if that's all clear. Um, I'm actually going to just leave the spreadsheet up um, for the remainder of round two discussion. I'll go ahead and, and highlight each one that we're discussing and will also be noted in the chat what we're discussing. Um, and uh, we can all view it on here, but it will follow the, the same discussion format and I will confirm at the end of, of each discussion of each application. This is Andy, just for some clarity on my end. So what we'll do is move through, but it's not gonna be as structured as before. It's more of like an open dialogue between the panelists or do I need to call on them one at a time? Does that make sense? Thanks. Yeah, step in for the record. Hi, Andy. Yeah, so we will rank these just like your um, uh, Stephanie had just mentioned, and we'll go down and we'll go through them one at a time again, just to make sure everybody um, to possibly uh, add some dialogue to this round two, and then re re redo the scores again, um, just like round one. Okay. This is Andy. So we'll start right here with, uh, I need to like move a few things around on my screen. So I'm looking at the right place. Perfect. We'll start with AFG 24-0024. We'll start this round of scoring and discussion with, with Ashanti. Okay, this is Ashanti. Um, I apologize, but I'm not sure if I'm like repeating what no. I said or. This is Krista. So um, at this point, you guys can just sort of discuss amongst the three of you, um, just kind of your thoughts on it. If you want to get a little bit more elaborate or if you um, really feel that there is one that you really want to fight for to bring it up or to bring it down. Um, and it, it's more of an open conversation. And then Andy, if nobody's talking, you can definitely call on folks and say, okay, we need somebody to start the conversation. This is Andy, I'm so I'm sorry, I'm unclear on what I'm, my role is. So I don't call out the agenda, I don't call out- the This is Chris, so you do call, do call out the application number and you could just say like, okay, open for discussion on on that um, particular number and then if nobody's starting discussion you could ask them like call them out specifically or just oh, I get kind of, like, kind of cruise with it and see if we're going to fill for this round this correct and step in, step in for the record to... yeah and so now the panelists have heard all the dialogue between each other in the first round right um as you can look at the scoring here you can see that there's um maybe a few applications, there's a discrepancy in the scoring. And when we revisit those applications, you can discuss why maybe you scored a thing the way that you did versus uh, your peer or your other panelists. And it's just now to, to kind of solidify, you know, the top ranked applications in this, in this round. So um, based on the discussion uh, that you had in the first round, and it may not, you might, you may not have anything else to add um, based on the discussion from what you've heard in the other panelists, or maybe you do. Um, so it's just basically a reiteration of the first round and possibly bumping up the dialogue. That's all. On the record, Harry Ward, Deputy Attorney General. And Mr. Chair, I would suggest that before you move on to the next applicant, you just verbally ask each one of the panelists to confirm their score and then move on if you finished with the discussion. Thank you. This is Andy. So I'm speaking mostly for my own clarification, but maybe for someone else's. I will say the applicant number, I will open the floor for discussion or any thoughts or comments that you may wanna have in discussion with each other, the three panelists. Then I will call each one of you to reaffirm your score or change your score. And then we'll move on to the next one. This is Stephanie, and we will also, uh, I will confirm the scores on the spreadsheet um, and note any changes in scores that are in blue, um, ask any of the panelists to justify any changes that they have made, and note the average score at the end, just like the, the last round. Great. This is Andy. With all of that clarity, I'm going to move forward um, in starting round two. 
Here we go. AFG 24-0024. The floor is open for comments. Um, you can add on to some of the things you said before or start a discussion um, with your fellow panelists. Uh, this is Ashanti. Um, I'll just say um, I think that this particular uh, application is uh, in what feels to be the right place. Um, I really did find it to be uh, amongst the strongest um, of the applications that I read. This is Brent. I agree. Uh, I also um, I think it's it's reflected in uh, the scoring being fairly consistent throughout uh, all three panelists. Um, and um, you know, there's there was still some you know opportunities in the packet, of course, which is why they're you know we're not perfect scores, but um, but still overall uh, definitely should be. Uh, toward the top uh, of the submission packets. Makalani, this, this is Andy. Makalani, do you have any additions, yays, nays, or can we move through to final round two scores? Makalani, I think you're on mute still. Yeah, this is Makalani. Um, I have nothing to add. This, we can move on. This is Stephanie jumping in here. So we can go ahead and, and confirm the scores. That makes uh, the most sense with this process. I apologize for the confusion. Okay. This is Stephanie confirming round two scores for AFG 24-0024. Makalani, your round two score, please. This is Makalani. My round two score for 0024 is 22. Brent, your round two score, please. This is Brent. My round two score is 25. Thank you. Um, Ashanti, your round two score, please. This is Ashanti. My round two score is 26. Thank you. Round two scores for AFG 24-0024 are Brent 25, Ashanti 26, Makalani 22 for an average score of 24.3. This is Andy. Thank you. We'll move on to AFG 24-0025. Um, I will open the floor for discussion and comments. I will also just say that um, there is kind of like a wide range of scoring here. So maybe there's a point of conversation conversation or discussion um, to start there. This is Ashanti. Uh, yeah, I can see that I uh, maybe didn't appreciate this collection as much as uh, my fellow uh, reviewers. I'm happy to, uh, if y'all have um, like particular poems that like stood out or anything like that, um, you know, I'm happy to, you know, see those in a in a different light. This is Andy for the record. I also just want to say you're allowed to have discrepancies, so it's okay. I just wanted to mention that if there was a discussion point that you felt like you wanted to, you know, to share, but it is allowed, you're allowed to score the, the scores you have. Well, the record, Harry Ward, Deputy Attorney General, and the panelists can ask the other panelists, what did you, you know, what, what did you originally say on this to refresh their memory and stuff of that nature? And then you could say, oh, I, I think I'm either going to lower mine or raise mine, or I agree with you. So it is a time for open discussion. And panelists, don't be afraid to ask other panelists about uh, their reasoning and their score and stuff of that nature. Thank you. This is Brent. Just uh, if there's an extended silence here, I just want to let you know that I'm 
rereading the poems in the packet to see if I can identify one that I would like Ashanti to look at, uh, just to see if there is uh, any um, bridge in the discrepancy of scoring, or if you know if there's no there's no you know if it is just a matter of the subjective perspective, that's okay too. This is Andy for the record. Yes, the silence is welcome as long as we're all our wheels are spinning. Yeah, this is this is Makalani. I'm trying to uh um I'm trying to kind of go back and review as well. Um I do know, I mean, based on my notes, um, just looking straight at my notes, like for me, this was this was um when you put it together as a packet when you look at what I thought of as um, really combining all three of, uh, when you when combining all three of the scores and all three of the categories, I felt like this one was the most well-rounded. Um, and so therefore it consecutive, it, it, it got high marks in every category. Um, it seemed to me um it's it's the the quality of the um the, the fact that the the subject matter is of weight it's of concern it's of importance um uh particularly to the southwest of the united states um so so you get high it gets high marks for that for like for that would basically be three um yeah, I would just, I just argue very, um, I just, I just felt very strongly that this was, this was the best of the whole packet. Um, this is Brent, as I'm reviewing the packet, I, I do have to concur with Makalani that uh, I do think I do think my scoring uh, contributed what well, was mostly was built on what Makalani said, which is that it's very well rounded and tended to score well in the questions that we were asked to judge the packet on and uh, being consistent throughout um, the poems. This is Andy Ashanti. Maybe if there's a question on specific points of the criteria that you felt it didn't meet, um, might help find some bridge point. Um, but just, you don't have to respond to that. Just offering that as a as a question. Yeah, for, for the, sure. For uh, the record, Harry Ward. I'm sorry to apologize. I apologize for interrupting. For the record, Harry Ward, Deputy Attorney General, and once again, panelists. Don't feel, quote unquote, pressured to raise or lower your, your score. Uh, this is just an open conversation. So please, once again, don't feel like you're under pressure to raise or lower your score. Thank you. This is Ashanti. Um, yeah, I appreciate that. I do think um, when we were doing uh, the round one reviews, Brent, I think you mentioned something about um, particularly the like artistic impact maybe I think I heard you mention migration as well um and I think for me that was that particular criteria was somewhere um that I didn't uh rank particularly highly so um I don't uh I don't feel pressured I do feel like I did overlook something though um in the collection or failed to appreciate something. Um, Brent, I don't know if you uh, mind speaking a little bit more about that, um, particularly, yeah, the conversations you feel like uh, this poet is having uh, with immigration and migration in particular. Yeah, um, well, there is, there are, what I think, the reason why I brought that up and made a comment. Oh, sorry, this is Brent. Um, the um, that there were some moments that were um, 
where it, it was said kind of directly, um, which I can, let me find a poem where that, that happens. But then there were also times where that same language was used in a way that was indirectly kind of nodding at the theme without saying it so um, abruptly, um, like we saw in other submissions. So for example, the poem, Waking Early in Elko After the Duck of Film Screening, you know, kind of has this, um, it feels like this moment, a very specific, uh, you know, kind of targeted, um moment uh and, and and charged but then on the poem right after that almost to 80 he meets me for lunch we end on the line that says could stop the migration of this sorrow so then the theme of of like movement and migration is maintained even even in this poem where or in this line where we see the emotion uh being being placed in the same vessel um so now the sorrow is migrating in this instance where it's it's not a it's it's so it's still connecting with this theme that that overall is in the packet but without constantly saying it so uh on the nose if that makes sense so that's that's kind of what stood out for me was that it didn't feel like it had to say it clearly in every poem hey here's what i'm saying you know um that that there were some moments where it was it was very apparent and then there were moments where it was tactfully kind of like hinted at through the language so so this is this is makalani um just to really piggyback on what brent has said beautifully um take a poem like pastoral um i know like also in in like kind of previous discussions in the first round there was a few of a couple of us mentioned i don't know if i mentioned it but i definitely wrote it in some of my comments and my notes about like the titles of the poems not being like not seeing not feeling the effort um per se put into the titling whereas you take a poem from this packet pastoral and this is what i mean by like well-rounded like this is a this is a wonderful title i mean it, it it because of pastoral what we understand that particular um you know in conversation with the literary tradition what we understand that term or what what poem that we are being set up to read um and like brent said the subtlety you know um out in the west fields you know um you know, in terms of how you open a poem, you know, that one of the the most obvious ways to open a poem is to like situate people in where, what situate the reader and where you're going to be. I mean, and we already know that since this person, since the writer is talking about pastoral, we're getting set up for a pastoral poem, but um, without going into huge, great detail, um, you know, the subtlety to which the point of view of the writer of the poem is that of a migrant is, you know, it's such a, it's so, it's just so beautiful how, you know, this, the, the poem is this, it speaks to the land beautifully, speaks to nature, speaks to that moment and the experience of nature in that moment beautifully, but it is from the perspective of a migrant. And so like just how, um, you know, just how delicate and how subtle, you know, that kind of twist is um, and for it to be consistent kind of throughout the packet. Um, so you just, you know, there could be, you could argue that, I, I mean, I'm going way out into the way out now, but you could argue that, that there are other there are other packets where the writing is maybe better, but I don't know if you can say that there's that the quality of the writing is, um, you know, that if with the combined with the with how subtle this poet is and how, you know, well this poet is also how this poet is also using taking like a subject matter that is 
you know, particularly important um, discourse in this country right now, immigration and, and migrants, uh, people in the labor that they provide, um, just so many different discourses in, in indigeneity um, and how that speaks to um, the land and how, how land and um, is seen from that perspective. Just, yeah, I've prattled on, but I've, I've, I really, really like this packet. This is Andy just trying to gauge if the silence is reflection or if the silence is time to move forward. This is Ashanti. Um, I was um, just reviewing um, still, but um, I think I, I think I'm, I've been convinced. <laughs> <laughs> this is Andy do you need more time to review do you feel like you can come to um, either stay where you are or adjusting your score uh, yeah I'm I'm able to uh, adjust my score and are the other two panelists okay so, where we are this, this is Makalani um I think that like I'm comfortable with where this has because it's come in second in the in the list. Like I'm completely comfortable with where it has landed. Um, I feel like because it spoke so strongly to Brent and I, we gave it you know the the highest scores of all of the of all the packets. So it lifted it up, and so Ashanti's you know maybe not seeing they're not maybe seeing it the same way doesn't necessarily hurt it because, you know, it just comes, it comes in second in this list. And um, yeah, so I'm completely comfortable with where it stands as, you know, and, you know, as one of the packets, it is, it's one of the top packets and that's where it's landed. Um, you know, I really think that, I, I you know I yeah I really this think is, that, um, it's consistent um, with what it's where it should be. Yep. So this is I'm stepping for the record again. Um. So we want you to um, um. I want you to make sure that you keep an eye on the work samples and the review criteria. I know uh, it's kind of easy to place things within a hierarchy here, um. But we want you to make sure that what when you're scoring, or if you're changing your scores predicated on the review criteria, the panel discussion that you're now having, um, and just those things there. Um, I, I don't know if I would, it's, it's okay to look at placement among the hierarchy here, but um, please just try to review to the review criteria uh, and the dialogue. This is Andy for the record. And I think um, just to reiterate that, like we're not scoring them against each other. We're only scoring them against the, the criteria. And, um, and uh, this discussion though, is exactly what this round two is for, is so as we look at these people that have moved forward into this space that we're able to really make sure that um, as you do it alone, now we kind of have this collective understanding and things that might get overseen or misunderstood or misinterpreted, or um, you know, the process can be daunting as you approach it. So this is our way to kind of really make sure that we're digesting all of these samples that are submitted and that the artists work is um, seen in the best way possible. This is Ashanti. I also just want to say like, um, no, I do think that I don't, I don't know what happened, but I do think that I did uh, misjudge this one, um, even independent of the other scores. Um, especially looking back through it. And I know one of the things we talked about at the orientation was just making sure we were uh, individually consistent amongst ourselves. Um, and I can definitely see um, that this one, my round one uh, 
would not be consistent with how I kind of ranked uh, the other ones. Um, so yeah, I just want to kind of get a little redo to just be fair, you know? Um, and yeah, if that bumps it up a little bit, then, you know, it's, it's deserved. So I don't, I don't have any qualms about that. This is Andy for the record. Um, yes, you are all allowed to be human. Uh, and hopefully this process helps us navigate this as a, as, as a collective so that we can um, honor all of these uh, wonderful applications. So I think Stephanie, we're gonna pass to you. This is Stephanie, thank you very much, Andy. Okay, um, this is Stephanie confirming round two scores for AFG 24-0025. Ashanti, your round two score, please. This is Ashanti. Uh, I would like to um, change my score to uh, 22. Thank you, Ashanti. Makalani, your round two score, please. Um, my round two score, uh, this is Makalani, my round two score for uh, uh, AFG 240025 is a 28. Brent, your round two scores, please. Brent, my round two score is 30. Thank you. Round two scores for AFG 24-0025 are Brent 30, Ashanti 22, Makalani 28 for an average score of 26.7. This is Andy for the record. Um, just to clarify, do we need a reason for um, the score change or was the discussion, was it clear through the discussion, um, the reasoning behind that? This is Stephanie, that's right, exactly. Thank you for reminding me. Please, Ashanti, could you um, state your, your justification for the record for changing your score? Absolutely, this is Ashanti. Um, so originally, uh, well, I'll just say I I increased um, the score on each of the um, three. I do think that um, I'm more able now to see the uh, artist intent and process. So I increased my score uh, for that. As far as consistency, um, I like I said, I think I just failed to appreciate that earlier. But yeah, looking back through it, this, the quality, uh, the consistency in the quality is uh, exceptional. And then um, thanks to Brent uh, and uh, Makalani Wang in, um, I'm also, I also increased my score for the um, evidence of specific uh, community influence as well. Um, as mentioned, I think a couple of things were just uh, kind of oversights on my part. So I, I kind of just increased uh, my scores across the board. This is Andy. Thank you for that. Um, we'll move on to the next discussion for AFG 24-0048. Um, opening the floor for thoughts, reflections, um, additional comments that you maybe haven't addressed yet. This is Ashanti. I'll just say I'm, I feel okay about my score on this one. I will take this silence as confirmation that we're good where we are and let Stephanie calculate these final round two scores. This is Stephanie. Um, confirming round two scores for AFG 24-048. Uh, Brent, your round two score, please. My round two score is 22. Thank you. Um, Ashanti, your round two score, please. 
This is Ashanti. My round two score is 18. Makalani, your round two score, please. You are muted, Makalani. Um, yeah, I, I got uh, kicked out or I don't, I didn't, I don't know where we're at. This is Stephanie. We are confirming scores for AFG 24-0048. So confirming round two scores. Okay. Uh, this is Makalani uh, for round two. Um, I scored for 0048, the 23. Round two scores for AFG 24-0048 are Brent 22, Ashanti 18, Makalani 23 for an average score of 21. Thank you. Moving on to AFG. This is Andy, AFG 24-0022. Opening the floor for discussion. Judging by the closeness of the numbers and the silence, are we okay to move forward? Yeah, this is Makalani. I, uh, I'm very comfortable with my scores. This is Stephanie confirming round two scores for AF, excuse me, AFG 24-0022. Um, Makalani, your round two score, please. Um, my round two score was 22. Brent, your round two score, please. This is Brent. My round two score is 18. Ashanti, your round two score, please. This is Ashanti. My round two score is 20. AFG 24-0022 is Brent, 18. Ashanti, 20. Makalani, 22, for an average score of 20.0. Thank you, Stephanie. Moving on to AFG 24-0052. Um, I will open the floor for discussion. Just want to name out loud that there is over a 10-point difference between the top and the bottom score. I'm not sure if there is um, some space for discussion or, or thoughts on that. Um, but you are also a okay to keep your numbers where they are, but want to open the floor for that. This is Brent. Um, Ashanti, would you mind um, reading your notes again on this packet, please? Yes. Just a second, waiting for some beautiful to work. Uh, okay, here we go. This is Ashanti. Uh, my comments were uh, that I found this uh, collection emotionally captivating, tender, and vulnerable. Uh, this work rejects apathy and cherishes uh, the blessings of loving and feeling. If intended for visual publication, uh, consider single spacing and playing around with line breaks. Um, Atronaut feels incomplete. Uh, the present conclusion is a given sidestep the obvious and reveal the poem's true intent. Um, I also felt that these poems were obviously meant to be shared with others uh, and had an affinity towards uh, queer affirming and marginalized folks. Uh, I will uh, say that I definitely hear uh, y'all's comments, uh, particularly on the uh, craft level, but um, just for me personally, this was um, really the only collection that um, I actually had a physical, emotional reaction. Um, and I I feel like that is something that is difficult. Um, 
I don't know. Sometimes it feels like you can either you can either do that, right? You can either conjure feelings uh, for people reading your work, or you can't. Um, so you know, I I do see the big gap, but um, as far as um, yeah, just work that I think will actually uh, move people. Um, I'm I'm particularly compelled by. Uh, what feels like this poet's ability to do that. This is Brent. Thank you so much. This is Andy. After hearing that, Brent and Makalani, would you like time to reflect, look? Um, Share any thoughts? Um, let's see. So this is Makalani. Um, I guess like, um, I didn't read this in the first round, I don't think, but these were this was part of the notes that I wrote for this packet. And as I've gone through review, it, I, I'm kind of still of the same mind. Poems of political and social critique are difficult, not only because of their subjective mat subject subjective matter, but especially because the balance the poet must negotiate between the message and the aesthetics and poetics. Um, the message is powerful in these poems, but because it is delivered with little imagery and short on imaginative metaphors, the language skews towards rhetoric. Um, yeah. Um, it's hard not to, it's hard not to feel the energy in this work, it's obvious that it's there. Um, but um, I think that I, I still feel that like, um, when you compare um, when I when I think about how a poem um when i think about how a poem really gets i think gets me and gets i would i would argue a lot of readers is um that ability to kind of be talking about something but all of the time the the reader is allowed the reader is 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 filled with kind of a lot of space to think about all the different ways this is connecting with like their life or with like something in the news or um, uh, just such a wide, broad kind of range of things like uh, a piece that kind of meets people where they are um, versus a lot of the poems in this packet are kind of, um, there's a, you know, I think there's a lot more a much more of, of a direct hand onto what the reader is supposed to think. This is Brent. Um, I just want to say that I, I want to echo uh, Makalani's statements that there's a lot of passion um, and that can, that can definitely be felt uh, in this, in this, in these works. Um, and I found myself, I think, wanting to have a similar emotional response that, that Ashanti was describing, but then there would be like a kind of like a cliche or something that kind of just fell flat or took me out of the poem. And and that uh, that to me kind of uh, like almost like counterbalanced anything that was building. So as the, you know, as I had this potential you know, emotional response building, 
then the cliche would come in and it would kind of like kill kill that buzz a little bit. Um, so uh, I I think that um, Ashanti, your you know your emotional response to it and scoring for that, I think is completely valid, especially because poetry and and the arts in general, uh, you know, there is this subjective element that that comes into it where you know what 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 you feel uh, uh and and how it resonates with you um you know it can go beyond the craft and and beyond anything that that any of us can really articulate so um so i think that you know I, i'm comfortable with my score but i also totally understand uh ashanti's position in in giving it the score that that, that was placed there so you know i'm that's my final comments This is Andy for the record. Um, I'm gonna offer Ashanti if you have any final thoughts or things to say, but it sounds to me like we've kind of had the thorough discussion, but if we wanna keep going, Ashanti, I'll let you uh, take it away. Uh, this is Ashanti. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I feel confident in where, uh, how I ranked, um, and I like I said, I do understand. Um, like I like I don't I don't feel like I think the points that were made by the other panelists as far as uh, how the story ended up where uh, it did, I do understand that as well. Um, so I'm happy to uh, end it here. This is Andy for the record. I think we will move forward to scoring. It seems like we kind of wrapped up our thoughts and everybody sees, I think, where each of the panelists are. Um, and so Stephanie, I'll let you final round two scores on this one. This is Stephanie confirming round two scores for AFG 24-0052. Ashanti, your score, please, or excuse me, your round two score, please. This is Ashanti, my round two score is 27. Makalani, your round two score, please. This is Makalani. My round two score is 14. Brent, your round two score, please. This is Brent. My round two score is 15. Thank you. Round two scores for AFG 24-0052 are Brent, 15, Ashanti, 27, Makalani, 14, for an average score of 18.7. Thank you, Stephanie. We will move on to AFG 24-0015. Um, opening the floor for discussion, there seems to be a like nine point difference between the highest and lowest scores. Um, again, you do not have to change them, just kind of noting out loud the the differentiation um and feel free to discuss this is my this is makalani i think i probably re uh read this packet more than i read any other packet um i kept wanting to like I kept wanting to score it lower than what I ultimately scored it because when I kept going back to it, um, I just was struck by how um, how good the writing was, um, and and how you know how actually stronger than what I was thinking it was, how much stronger it actually was. Um, I'm looking at the poem like what what howls beneath. Um, And it's then it is it's uh it's a, it's a well crafted poem. Um, 
formally when I look at it, I'm struck at how there is um a bit of abandon with the lines. Um they're writing in tercets, but the line length is just kind of all over the place. Um, and they're breaking the line breaks are is are kind of wild. Um there's you know, there's in stop, there's you know, examples of all the different types, parsed, annotated. They're breaking against syntax, they're breaking with syntax. Um Yeah, the, so just a poem, like just that one poem, like what would happen is I would, okay, this is what I'm going to score it. And then I'd score some um, other ones. And then um, I'd think that I would be, okay, this is about where 15 fits in. And I'd go back and read it and be like, no, these are really good poems. So um no, let me see if I pull up another one. So this was not, I, I can say for one thing, this is not a packet where I think there's a theme that runs through all of the poems consistently and that it therefore um that it therefore bespeaks like a certain community. Um, uh, uh, this is Brent, if you don't mind, Makalani, I'm gonna kind of piggyback off of what you were saying. Um, I, I, I agree with um, just about every point that you made. Um, I did find myself wanting to score this one higher because I enjoyed the poems and yeah like when I read communion it just was doing so much with so little and so uh there were these moments that I felt like I felt both grounded by the personal and I also found myself uh kind of getting sucked up out into the cosmos and so that uh and that happening in such a tight space um uh, was very effective um and so i i think i wanted to give it higher scores but i also agree that the uh you know that there was kind of a not as much consistency in terms of themes um throughout and the kind of influence for a specific community or genre of art we were we were that's really where it kind of got hurt on my scoring um and so i think based on the scoring framework that we were given um that's why it scored where it did for me not because of a lack of quality but because of the the questions that we were scoring in particular so that that's where it landed for me. Yeah, this is Makalani. That makes that makes total sense. That makes total sense. Um, I think that, yeah, I think that's like that's like one one probably one hundred percent correct. Um, and it makes me um, it makes me. It, it, to be consistent with the way that I scored things, it makes me think that um, I do need to um, adjust the its score for um, for the third category for evidence of artistic impact such as influence within a specific community. I probably scored that higher than I did in relation to other poems and other packets like that i yeah that i was harder maybe harder on them this is andy ashanti would you like to say anything add your two cents if you will 
Uh, yeah, this is Ashanti. Um, I'll just say, um, yeah, that third category, um, evidence of artistic impact is definitely um, where this collection scored the lowest for me. Um, I found this collection to really be um, kind of more or less middle of the road. Like it didn't um, do anything necessarily uh, egregious nor um, amazing, but uh, yeah, that community element um, was, was missing for me in particular. This is Andy. Any final thoughts before we move to final scores for this one, uh, round two? Stephanie, it's your turn. This is Stephanie confirming round two scores for AFG 24-0015. Just a reminder that if you um, do want to adjust your score, you'll just need to provide a, a justification, but you may say that just as simple as, you know, as a result of the, of the discussion with your fellow panelists. Okay. Um, Brent, your round two score, please. My, uh, this is Brent. My round two score is 17. Thank you. Ashanti, your round two score, please. This is Ashanti. My round two score is 13. Makalani, your round two score, please. Uh, this is Makalani. Um, my round two score for AFG 24-0015. I would like to change it. Um, uh, based, uh, based, I would like to change it to 19. Um, I'm taking deducting points specifically from after after our discussion um and i i think uh, brent made an excellent point that um as i stated in my comments that uh that that these were that these felt like vignettes or short stories or, or uh about variety of subjects and i don't necessarily seeing this fit speaking so much to a specific community whether it be in like subject or even in like say craft moves or technically how the poems work I don't see it necessarily fitting into any specific kind of community so therefore like it's kind of situation within the literary tradition I'm not so clear sure that it's fits into any like specific defined group or movement. Um, so with that being said, I think I scored it higher than I should have in terms of three. Um, so that's that that's why I lowered my score. Thank you. Round two scores for AFG 24-0015 are Brent 17, Ashanti 13, Makalani, 19, for an average score of 16.3. This is Andy moving forward to AFG 24-0019, opening the floor again for discussion um, and noting that there is a wide range of scores. Um, so perhaps starting with uh, why you scored maybe where you are or questions for your other panelists. Uh, this is Makalani. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm looking uh, to see exactly um, why I scored it so much lower than everyone else. This is Andy. Reflection silence is always welcome. It's when the, when your uh, mind wheels stop turning that we, I need to know so we can <laughs> move forward.
Um, let's see. I this is Makalani. I said about this. The poet's passion is palpable. Their performance is engaging, but art in the crafting of the poems is not of the caliber of excellent spoken word or literary poetry. The language and syntax in the poems seldom rise to the level of innovative or fresh, personal and heartfelt. One wants to root for these poems, but there is little in the way of metaphor, vivid imagery, or detail to gain a high estimation. So, yeah, so I'm like looking at like the first poem in the packet, Desert Markings. Um, yeah, I, uh, I look at like the first couple of lines and I'm kind of, uh, um, first did the, the like uh there's not really punctuation um and which is not a problem but there's also not they're also not writing in in real complete sentences um there's not a lot of a pay attention to like syntactical variation it's a lot of like demonstrative sentences if 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 you get a sentence it's kind of demonstrative um but yeah um i don't i'm not sure what you guys particularly saw i let me look at a couple more i don't know if I. Um, this is Brent. I'm going to chime in and say that I think your uh, comments, Mangalani, were um, pretty spot on. I think I, I, when I was scoring this one, I might have, I was trying to score it kind of down the middle um, because for me, the performance aspects, the delivery, um, the pacing, in the delivery was um that to me kind of like helped to compensate because i'm taking into consideration the form that uh, it, it is intended as a spoken word and so you know I'm, I'm not i'm trying to take out like my instinct to look at it through like on the page literary lens and then to take into consideration like you know giving it the credit for the way that it's presented and its form. And so it's um, as, you know, that that's, I think where I gave it some like extra padding was, was because of the performance, um, per particularly the pacing. Um, but um, I think after hearing Makalani's comments and then looking back at my scores, um, I do think that I, I probably gave it too high of a score, uh, especially in the uh, exceptional caliber of the work category. Um, and and then I think for me, like I, I gave it uh, the score that I gave it for the evidence of artistic impact category, particularly, I think, if I'm remembering correctly, for the um, for it being specifically in the spoken word uh, as a genre of art um, and, and being pretty strongly placed in that category. Like it, it did not deviate from that. And, it, you know, this was a, a poet that, um, that seems to have a strong footing in that genre of art. So I think I, I, I'm, I think I will be changing my score to decrease the score in uh, exceptional caliber of work. 
This is Ashanti. Um, I also think I will be um, lowering my score. Um, similarly to Brent, I think that the performance aspect is doing a whole lot of weight um, to the point, I think when I was first reviewing this submission, um, I think reading it, it didn't land for me very well. And then I heard the poet and then I was like, oh, now I know how this is kind of supposed to sound. I'm kind of like it, it, it was uh, kind of more palpable to me, but um, you know, I definitely do agree. Like if we are taking, uh, you know, like the pay the poems that are on the page for what they are, which is on the page, they really don't, uh, they really don't um, stand, you know, um, and when you even think about the performed pieces, I can see kind of that uh, almost like a, yeah, I, I can definitely see like that it's not impressive. Uh, in terms of like craft or um, yeah, necessarily like even what is uh, being said. I do think that um, I got more um, kind of community impact than um, like some of the other uh, submissions, but I do think that uh, this was definitely a collection where where it kind of grew on me. But if I if I went with kind of how I was feeling when I like was very first introduced to it, then yeah, I think my score would uh, have come out to be quite a bit lower. This is Andy. I'm hearing some consensus on thought here. Do we have any other discussion topics or points? Um, this is Makalani. I, I just wanted to say that, um, like this, this, the spoken word, um, like I was, um, there, there's always such a, like, there was, there's always such a passion, of course. And, um, there's all I you know I I think the page loses out loses out a lot of times to the three dimension of a person speaking, um, and yet like you could even within the the submissions for the spoken word like we saw such a a wide difference in um, how careful the words were put together um so yeah um the spoken word ones just added an extra bit of difficulty to trying to really score them but they you know i uh i i'm i'm pretty comfortable with what i scored this one This is Andy, if there are no other comments or discussions, we can move into our final round of scoring for round two. This is Stephanie confirming round two scores for AFG 24-0019. Um, Makalani, your round two score, please. Oh, this is Makalani, my round two score for 0019 was uh, eight. Brent, your round two score, please. This is Brent. Uh, my round two score is 14. Um, and I changed my score um, after hearing Makalani's points uh, and um, just well-articulated um, perspective on his assessment uh, made me reevaluate uh, my scoring and realizing that I had scored it higher than other 
packets um, that, and it, and it doesn't, and it's uh, specifically in the consistency in the ex, uh, exceptional caliber of the work category. Yeah. Ashanti, your round two score, please. This is Ashanti. My round two score is 12. Um, I am making changes uh, based on uh, Mahalani's comments as well as uh, making sure that I maintain uh, consistency amongst my individual scores. Round two scores for AFG 24-0019 are Brent 14, Ashanti 12, Makalani 8, for an average score of 11.3. This is Andy. We are gonna, I'm gonna take a pause because we are now kind of like halfway through. Um, do we wanna move through panelists around the rest of these? Do we wanna take a 10 minute break? This is Shanti. I'm, I'm fine either way. This this is Makalani. I yeah, I um I'm the easy going. I, I can go either way. I have no preference. Saw a head nod from Brent. Uh this is Andy Staff. Is there anybody that wants to flag anything or tell me I'm not allowed to not take a break? <laughs> All right, this is Andy. We're gonna keep moving. Uh, AFG 24-0046, opening the floor for discussion um, and noting about eight point variation. Mrs. Andy, I'm, sorry, go ahead. I'm kind of reviewing my packet, um, to s reviewing the packet to see. Um, I th I think that I may have done something similar in scoring it a little bit higher than I did with something in the past. Some of the ones in the past. This is Andy for the record, just filling the silence for a moment. There's allowed to be variation in the, the responses. I just wanted to um, note that as well. So we don't all have to come to a consensus on, on things.
This is Andy for the record. Does anybody feel confident in their scores that they would like to just, just reaffirm the number they've, they've put down? Um, or are we still reviewing? This is Brent. I'm, I'm comfortable with my score. Um, although I, I found a lot of redeeming qualities in this packet, there was a strong use of imagery um, and, and just, you know, some really compelling moments. Um, I just, I it lost points in the um, specific community genre of art category. That was probably the biggest miss in my scoring. Um, and, and it just felt like it was missing like a, a larger unifying uh, purpose, so. This is Ashanti. Um, I feel okay about my score as well. Um, similarly, um, influence within a specific community um, was the lowest scoring area for uh, this submission. Um, but I thought uh, the consistency uh, was pretty consistent. Um, the, the quality was consistent, excuse me, um, as well as um, I, I scored it uh, pretty highly in um, demonstration of the artist's intent and process. Um, I think how I'm kind of conceptualizing that is uh, that the poet is kind of having these conversations around uh, grief and, and family in in quite a few of these poems. Um, but um, so I feel OK. But I mean, if anyone would happen to like strongly argue that it's not clear what's happening here, um, that might be the area that I would kind of be most flexible around. Yeah, um, I, you know, I, I, I'm ready to move to, uh, the, to, uh, to give the final scores because I'm gonna slightly alter mine, um, my score. This is Andy, Stephanie, up on that screen. <laughs> there she is. This is Stephanie confirming round two scores for AFG 24-0046. Ashanti, your round two score, please. This is Ashanti. My round two score is 17. Thank you. Makalani, your round two score, please. Uh, this is Makalani. My round two score is going to be a 17 as well. I am lowering the score in evidence of artistic impact. It will, um, as as reading through it again, um, I, I I do see that 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 uh, there is not really a, an aesthetic community or really like a theme, um, uh, uh, like a like a discourse um, that is popular or um this contemporary um i can't really put a finger on it and then um going back and reading it again i would say that um i i scored it um a little high in the the exceptional caliber of the work um I, going back over it um i i i think that i've 
there was maybe too much. Um, I, I think I, I saw some more in it in the first reading in terms of it's um, um, the kind of uh, freshness or newness or inventiveness in the syntax. Um, yeah, there were just like certain things in the language that were not. Um, when I look at when I when I think of packets that scored you know, that I scored high. Um, I think that maybe that I I know that their that their language was much there was much more inventiveness in it and much um much more play. Thank you. And Brent, your round two scores, please. This is Brent a uh, round two score is twelve. Round two scores for AFG 24-0046R, Brent 12, Ashanti 17, Makalani 17, for an average score of 15.3. And uh, if I might add, several of the staff are asking if we can take a quick five-minute break for a restroom break at this point. This is Andy and it is 11.52. We will come back here at 11.50. Sorry, it's 1.52. I'm sorry, I can read the time. Um, it is 1.52. We'll come back at one. Let's just come back at two o'clock. Is that okay? I know that's not five minutes, but I do better with round numbers. So two o'clock, I'm making the decision because I'm the chair. <laughs> two o'clock, I'll see you all back here Pacific time.
This is Andy for the record. We are back um, and I don't know what number we're on because I don't see the spread. Oh, there it is. Ha -ha. Um, great, we'll move through these last couple of um, applications in round two, beginning with AFG 24-0073. Opening the floor for um, discussion about a seven point difference from lowest to highest. Just naming that um, to maybe start some discussion. Do you all feel, are we thinking, or this is Andy, are you thinking, or um, are we confident where the numbers have landed? This is Brent. Uh, I, I just uh, refreshed my memory of the poems in this packet, and I'm comfortable where my score landed. This is Ashanti. Uh, I'm also comfortable with my score. This is Makalani. Um, yeah, I'm comfortable with my score. Stephanie. This is Stephanie confirming round two scores for AFG 24-0073. Brent, your round two score, please. My round two score is 12. You? Ashanti. Sorry, oh. I, I didn't say this is Brent. This is Brent, my round two score is 12. This is Stephanie. Thank you, Brent. Um, Ashanti, your round two score, please. This is Ashanti. My round two score is 17. Thank you. And Makalani, your round two score, please. Uh, this is Makalani. My round two score is 19. Round two scores for AFG 24-0073 are Brent, 12. Ashanti, 17. Makalani, 19, for an average score of 16. This is Andy. Thank you, Stephanie. We are moving forward to AFG 24-0030. About a five-point variation. Four points. I can do math. Sorry. This is Ashanti. Um, since I appear to be the odd one out, I'm just giving things uh, another look over. Okay. This is Ashanti. Um, I'm okay with how I scored this one, um, unless anyone feels particularly strongly. Um, I'm okay to move on. And this is Andy for the record. There isn't a need to, uh, we don't need to change scores on each of the applications. It's just an opportunity if there is um, particular pullings or feelings in certain ways, especially with the larger discrepancies to kind of have those conversations. This is Makalani. I'm I'm comfortable with what I scored. 
All right, this is Andy. Let's move forward. Miss Stephanie. This is Stephanie confirming round two scores for AFG 24-0030. Makalani, your round two score, please. Um, my round two score for 0030 is 17. Thank you. Brent, your round two scores, please. This is Brent. My round two score is 17. Thank you. Ashanti, your round two score, please. This is Ashanti. My round two score is 13. Round two scores for AFG 24-0030 are Brent, 17. Ashanti, 13. Makalani, 17. For an average score of 15.7. This is Andy moving forward to AFG 24-0075. Opening the floor for any comments or discussion. This is Ashanti. Just a quick question. I think uh, earlier it was mentioned about uh, like we couldn't have the same score for two. Is that only an issue like with the final final or? Uh, this is Andy. My understanding is that it's the the top five that we were really concerned with. Um, but if we are, if it's something different, Sapira, there you are. Sorry. Hello, this is Sapira. Yeah, just confirming what Andy was saying. Just a top five. This is Ashanti. Uh, I'm fine with my current score. This is Andy. Uh, if there are any other comments, this would be the time. Great, we will move on to the final score for round two. This is Stephanie confirming round two scores for AFG 24-0075. Ashanti, your round two score, please. This is Ashanti. My round two score is 13. Thank you. Makalani, your round two score, please. This is Makalani. My round two score is 17. Thank you. And Brent, your round two score, please. This is Brent. My round two score is 17. Thank you. Round two scores for AFG 24-0075 are Brent, 17. Ashanti, 13. Makalani, 17, for an average score of 15.7. This is Andy moving on to AFG 24-0035. Um, just mentioning the, the wide gap in um, numbers. And so opening the floor, providing space to review um, the submissions Yeah, this is Makalani. I I am obviously the uh the the odd the odd score. So I'm going back to check what exactly I was thinking. This is Brent. Um uh I'm looking back at this packet and my scores and my notes. And it scored high in strong uh, influence within a specific community. I think there was clear artist intent, um, but it it's for me it scored very low in the um, uh, consistency and exceptional caliber of the work. Um, so that's that's how my scoring worked out. Um, like again, I think this was uh, one of those situations where. Uh, the scoring to me was based on the questions we were asked to score on. And so um, I think based on the questions that we were asked is why uh, mine ended up in the, in the twenties. I think if it was 
just the question about the caliber of the work, I think it would have had a much lower score. Um, but considering the three questions that we were scoring on, um, that's where I ended up with my score. Yeah, this is this is Makalani. Um I I think I'm pretty comfortable. Uh I'm pretty comfortable, although looking back over it um i may have not scored it high enough in category 3 in terms of um i think when i when i when i consider what i was thinking when i first read the statement evidence of artistic impact such as influence within a specific community or genre i think when i initially thought of that when i read it it was on the one hand i think that i kind of read it differently for different aspects so like i think when i I I feel like when um, it would had to do with say craft or style, that seemed that's like a part of the the literary tradition, quote unquote. Um, if I saw that that poet like engaging um, with that with a particular movement or particular style, I gave them points for that, even though like it's not them having an impact, but it's them showing that they've been impacted with they're in a conversation. And then, but on the other hand, I, um, with other communities, like say, um, like a particular theme, like say we're talking about migration or say we're talking about like, um, say we're, say we're talking about, um, um, police brutality or sexual violence, something like that. Uh, I think that I looked at it as is if they were having that conversation in that group was what they were saying, like pushing the the group forward in terms of um, a better self expression or better understanding of, of themselves or 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 capturing like um a difficult concept to understand like say um 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 body dysmorphia like explaining in a way that's totally fresh and new and I, you know i that it, it, it seems like it's pushing the understanding of that group forward then i scored them high um when i look at when i look back at this particular packet um I see it speaking to a particular group, but I don't see it pushing the conversation forward. Like I don't see them like, like taking a concept or an idea that um, that is important. I think for for communities and groups that are not a part of the inner group, like language and ideas pushing those ideas and putting them in ways that are that people can 
that people grasp or that or that impacts people emotionally and makes them um have a greater compassion for that particular group or whatever like i don't see anything in this packet that pushed that forward so like i i don't think uh, that's why i'm i think that i'm pretty comfortable with my score because otherwise like i i don't feel that the language and uh the syntax i don't i didn't feel like um that the caliber was that exceptional and like intent of the writer um you know i think there were some things in here that um that showed a uh, you know not that didn't show that kind of uh, of of attention to intention um uh, like I'm looking at a love letter from an organizer, the second line, sleep escapes me. The presence of a gaping hole in my chest is relentless. Um, so obviously like hyperbole. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm not convinced by this description of a person like of of sleeplessness and what sleepless is 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 like or whatever or like what insomnia or what having trouble sleeping or would be like this is andy for the record i just want to chime in and hopefully provide clarity that um when we talk about consistency, the consistency is within how you viewed each of the criteria. Um, so if somebody kind of sees the criteria as a, in a different light or a different way, that they're consistent in uh, applying that lens to all the applicants, but it shouldn't sway then on one particular application why you might change your score. Does that make sense, what I just said? Mm -hmm. Okay. You can keep the discussion going. <laughs> Should we move forward? Would anybody like some more time for this discussion? This is Andy, and I'm going to pass the mic. This is Stephanie confirming round two scores for AFG 24-0035. Um, Brent, your round two score, please. Is Brent, my round two score is 22. Thank you. Ashanti, your round two score, please. Uh, this is Ashanti. I am going to uh, lower my score actually to uh, 18. I think uh, I think excellent points were raised, uh, particularly uh, in regards to the exceptional caliber of the work. Um, so I took off a couple of points in that area. Thank you. Makalani, you are round two score, please. Um, my round two score, uh, for zero, zero, three, five is a three. Thank you. Round two scores for AFG 24-0035 are Brent 22, Ashanti 18, Makalani 3 for an average score of 14.3. This is Andy moving on to AFG 24-0069. Opening the floor for comments, discussion. This is Makalani. I'm I'm comfortable with the way I scored this one.
This is fine. I'm also comfortable with my score. Uh, this is Ashanti. I am as well. All right, if there are no discussion points, we'll move to the final scores from round two. This is Stephanie confirming round two scores for AFG 24-0069. Makalani, your round two score, please. My round two score for 0069 is a nine. Thank you. Brent, your round two score, please. This is Brent. My round two score is 15. Thank you. Ashanti, your round two score, please. This is Ashanti. My round two score is 18. Round two scores for AFG 24-0069 are Brent 15, Ashanti 18, Makalani 9 for an average score of 14. At this time, we've completed um, the applications for round two. So I'm going to go ahead and resort um, by average score from largest to smallest. If I could just ask Krista to close the spreadsheet, it might take one minute. Yep, I'm already out of it. Yeah, I saw, thank you. There we go. Okay, so the applications have now been resorted by average score, highest to lowest. And just for your, I apologize, this is Stephanie. Um, and just for your reference, Andy, where we would be at in the panel script would be on page six in the box that says round two, number five. Um, so at this time, we kind of get to have a, a fun choose your own adventure. Um, all members of this panel have committed to the scores and ranking um, of the application shown on the screen. And we have two options. One, if you're committed to this um, and you don't think there are any other adjustments that need to be made, we can move on um, to wrapping up. Or if you think that we should go through again, we can kind of um, do what we did between round and one, run, round one and round two and um, go through again and see if there are changes, adjustments that kind of need to be made to make those final recommendations. Um, just having been a part of the discussion, um, I feel like we got into some like nitty gritty detailed work in the conversations, um, but if you still feel like there's some discussion that needs to be had, we can move to around three. My recommendation, it, it, it just based on today, feels like we, we are kind of good here, but that's up to you all. Hi, this is Stefan for the record. Um, um, Stefan, I don't know if you would just want to go to the score sheet and ask that final question to each panelist to see if they're fine with that. This is Stephanie. I apologize, Stefan. Could you could you repeat that? What would you like me to do? Correct. We can ask each panelist if they're fine with the rankings as they are or move on to the next round. Understood. This is Stephanie. Um, at this time, are all members of this panel committed to the scores and ranking of the applications shown on the screen? This is Brent. Yes. Uh, this is Makalani. Uh, yes. This is Ashanti, yes. This is Stephanie, thank you. I'll go ahead and, and pass it to you then, Andy, for option two. Uh, final recommendations. Will the Nevada Arts Council staff please show the final ranking of literary arts category, poetry works category, fellowship applications, which are right there. This is Stephanie. I'm going to read through the final scores for every application just to confirm for the record. AFG 24-0025, average panel score of 26.7. AFG 24-0024, average score of 24.3. AFG 24-0048, average score of 21.0. 
AFG 24-0022, average score of 20.0. AFG 24-0052, average score of 18.7. AFG 24-0015, average score of 16.3. AFG 24-0073, average score of 16.0. AFG 24-0030, average score of 15.7. AFG 24-0075, average score of 15.7. AFG 24-0046, average score of 15.3. AFG 24-0035, average score of 14.3. AFG 24-0069, average score of 14.0. AFG 24-0019, average score of 11.3. This is Andy for the record. The Nevada Arts Council Board wants to thank all of the panelists and staff for your thoughtful work in reviewing the FY24 Arts Fellowship Grant in Literary Arts Poetry category. The Nevada Arts Council Board will meet during a public meeting to review the panel's recommendations and vote on the final grant allocation. After board approval, all applicants will receive written notification. Um, I just wanna break from the script and say thank you all for the insightful conversation. I was like jotting down notes about the things you were just saying as like just little inspiration sparks. Um, and to know that the thoughtfulness and the um, intentional conversation that goes behind these grants is important. And it's exciting to get to go back and share with the board that, um, you know, we, hopefully had some fun, even though all of the formalities and the my name is uh, things. And so, um, yes, I'm gonna move on to agenda item D, if I am right, yes, everyone? Cool, agenda item D, public comment. Uh, because of time considerations, the period for public comment by each speaker may be limited to three minutes at the discretion of the chair and speakers are urged to avoid repetition of comments made by previous speakers. Applicants who are attending today do not have an unfair advantage over those who are not in attendance, and the committee will not take public comment regarding any grant applications under consideration. Is there anyone joining today's meeting who wishes to provide public comment at this time? Andy, can you hear me? Yes. Uh, and if, uh, Sapiro, Stefan, if, if you could trigger so my video can start, please. Yes, I will do that right now. Yay, there I am. I live. Uh, this is Tony um, Manfredi. I appreciate um, all of the work that was accomplished today. Uh, thank you, Ashanti, Brent, and Makalani for your insightful comments and your thoughtful remarks and the time commitment that you put forth in the panel review process. We know there is a lot of time, and, and obviously your remarks really showed how much you care for this work. Andy, thank you for your excellent work in chairing the panel and your work as treasurer for the Nevada Arts Council Board. We appreciate that. Thank you, Sapira, Stephanie, Krista, and Stefan for uh, your work on the guidelines application, eligibility review process, and the preparation for the grant panel. Again, great work here. And wanna thank all of the applicants who submitted their work and put themselves out there for this critical review. It's really important that um, we have applicants and that they take part in this process as well. Great job all, thank you. And is there any other public, this is Andy, is there any other public comment? Via email maybe? We're seeing no public comment from the attendees. If you want a public comment, please raise your hand. And Stephanie, if you can let us know regarding any email messages, please. This is Stephanie. We do have um, two questions that we are unable to answer as part of the rules of the panel review at this time. Um, I apologize for that, but we have not received any uh, public comment through email either, just confirming that. This is Sapira. I did see that there is a public comment that was submitted during the public comment um, time in the Q&A. Um, should I read that out loud or that would be all right, right? Okay, so yeah, it's from- Yeah, go ahead. 
It's from Heather Lang. Um, first and most importantly, thank you very much to each of you for your service to our community. My the rubric criteria be provided in advance to applicants in the future. If it already is, where are, where were those criteria at the point of breakdown available? Um, so I believe that we're not able to answer the question during public comment, but um, Heather, if you would like to reach out to staff members, we'd be more than happy to discuss that. This is Andy for the record, hearing no additional public comment. I'm looking for hands or waves or flags to stop me. I am going to move on to agenda item E for possible action adjournment. It is now 2.32 Pacific time. Thank you all for being here today. And uh, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week and a great weekend ahead. This meeting is adjourned. Thanks guys, you did a great job. Thank you. Um, panelists, if you can stay on.